evening and welcome to Ottawa Glendorf High School where tonight on WLSN we'll bring you a Western Buckeye League matchup between the homestanding Titans and the visiting Van Wert Cougars. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Scott Mag, and we'll bring you all the action tonight here from OG Titan Stadium. And Scott, we're looking forward to a great Western Buckeye League matchup. The, the calendar has flipped to fall. We did, we did a game together <laughs> last Saturday. It was 84. Today, it's I don't know that it got to 60, so it is officially fall yeah. here this week. Yeah. Five of the high school, or week six of the high school football season right. gets the kicked off. The weather makes it feel like a football game. People are in jackets or at least hoodies and uh, not shorts and tank tops. It's, this is football weather and it's a beautiful night, so hopefully they will uh, showcase us to a wonderful, exciting game tonight. That is the hope, certainly, as the Van Burke Cougars come in here four and one on the season. Out of Glendorf on the flip side of that at one and four. And when you look at the keys to tonight's game, what stands out to you that each squad needs to accomplish to grab a victory? I, I think the Titans just got to be disciplined, right? They got to, you know, if the the Cougars are going to spread it, they're going to throw the football. The Titans got to make sure they take them down when they catch it, right? There can't be any run after the catches. They gotta play discipline fo football because they're gonna put a lot of looks, they're gonna put motion in, they're gonna do all kinds of things. So the Titans defensively have to be disciplined. And I think also the Titans have to be able to run the football and control the ball to keep it away from this Van Wert potent offense. And so we'll get a look at the Van Wert offense here momentarily as Tyler Holmbrink is out to kick off for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans to get this Western Buckeye League matchup underway. Of course, the Titans in their midnight blues while the, Ottawa, while the Van Wert Cougars in the red helmets, white jerseys, and red pants. The kickoff is sent deep to Maddox Crutchfield along the far sideline. And Crutchfield makes a couple of guys miss, brings it out to the 30, or excuse me, the 25-yard line, brought down at the 27, and that is where the Cougars will begin their first drive of the night. Yeah, it's a good return by Crutchfield to get up there again. Uh, you know, we, we, did, we didn't really touch on the Van Wert keys, but the keys are for Van Wert is going to be get their athletes in space and let them make a play yeah. because, you know, they, they've been doing that all year. Uh, they got to keep doing that. And then defensively, they just got to wrap up and tackle and, and not allow the Titans to run the football because, you know, the Titans are going to want to control the ball by running, control the clock, excuse me, by running the football. So they got to they gotta, uh, take away the run. So Van Wert's offense will come out onto the field. Their offensive line, Jackson Jones, Devin Story, Jacob Geithen, Caleb Bledsoe, and Logan Dotson. As Brylin Parker, the running back, goes in motion. Quarterback Aiden Pratt drops back to pass. Looking, has plenty of time to throw. Penalty flag thrown as he'll turn and fire to Parker. The 35-yard line. A big hit laid by Cy Rump of Ottawa Glandorf, but we'll see what the penalty flag is. Uh, Going to be a hold. They had plenty of time there. Titans rushed three, dropped eight, and played coverage on that. And, you know, gave Pratt plenty of time and you know he's dancing around dancing around you know we did a game with them against Walpock and he pretty much got rid of the ball right away yeah. uh, that's the most he got and the only time he did hold the ball is when he threw that like 70 yard touchdown pass well, and that there's it's tough because you can either drop a bunch of guys and give him all day to throw which he's generally might find in the open receiver or you can you know, blitz after him and you better have some guys that can cover or, yeah. or he can run it as well absolutely or if you do blitz it, you have to get there so yeah Costly holding penalty there against the Van Wert Cougars. That'll push him back. It'll be first and very long yeah. at the ball at the 17-yard line. So first and 20 upcoming here for the Cougars. Yeah, it's, it's probably more than that because the hold was behind the line of scrimmage. So I'll hand off to Brian yes. Parker, and he is blown up. Yes. Big play by Carter Dueling there for Ottawa Glandorf to push him back even farther. Along with uh, Justice Pope from his linebacker position, shot the gap and uh, kind of took on the blocks and allowed... Uh, Carter Dooling to clean that one up. So the Cougars run the ball yeah. for their first official play as they'll move quickly back to the offensive line as Pratt will roll to the left, turns his shoulders, fires, Ooh. and the ball is broken up. A yeah. big hit delivered there. That's Grant Strader Grant knocking Schrader that one down. On, yep. the, on the big stop there. And That'll bring up third and very long. And that was intended to uh, Campbell, who had uh, four TDs last week. So the Titans, obviously, if they watch any film, they're, they're going to know that he's uh, been their touchdown reception guy last week. So good job by the Titans to cover that down. And, and uh, good job by Pratt to get it to him, because I thought he was open. And just a better play by Grant Schrader. Yeah, a couple of wide receivers that we need to mention for Van Wert. Nate Phillips, Connor Campbell, Garrett Gunner, and Maddox Crutchfield. Campbell, like Scott said, four touchdowns in the win over St. Mary's a week ago. Pratt in the lonesome. By his lonesome in the shotgun will fire over the middle of the field looking for Crutchfield. Yeah. It's well over his head, and the Titans have forced a three and out on the first on yeah. defensive stop. And I think he had Crutchfield. Uh, he had to get rid of that a little bit early. Crutchfield was turning up the field and just overthrew him a little bit more. They had him streaking down the middle. A good play call by the uh, Cougar coaching staff, but didn't execute it. Good job by the Titans to 
to uh, hold surface there on defensive end, so they got to do a lot more of that to stay in this game tonight. Gage Steeman will come on to punt for the Vanwer Cougars, his first action here tonight. So we got just over a minute gone between the Cougars and the Titans here on WOSN. Steeman puts a boot into it. It'll bounce at the 42-yard line. Take a very low Van Wert roll at the 45, but Adam McGlander's going to have fantastic yeah. field position to start and it, there. And it all drive. started, you know, kind of, you know, they, all coaches say penalties cause problems. Uh, cause problems, you don't want to stay away from penalties because you're playing down in distance. And right there, that holding early caused Van Wert some problems. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and we've talked about it. Those holding penalties are so costly to, you know, 10, 10 yards from the spot of the foul. That this can be real drive killers. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see what the Titans come out here with four wide. Peyton Kuhlman, the quarterback, in for the Titans. The sophomore will turn and fire to dueling along the far sideline. He's got a couple of yards on first down to the 39-yard line, so a gain of six there for dueling. Yeah. It's a good job by, you know, you, you got a, a sophomore quarterback. He's making his second start. He started last week due to uh, some injuries on the Titans staff or players. What a great throw. You just kind of yep. little swing pass, get him comfortable, get him set, get him six yards there. So second and four upcoming for the guys in blue. Carrillo and Schrader will come to the left of the formation. As Coleman sends a man in motion. He'll turn around and hand off to Cy Rump. Rump hit by David McCracken right at the line of scrimmage. So a gain of about a yard and a half, maybe, or maybe, maybe two yards. A little more than uh, I, I thought that uh, Rump carried there on second down. Yeah, and Rump did a good job there. He's not. He's kind of a back that's not going to be dancing around. He's a one-cut back. He's going to cut. He's going to go up hard in the hole and see what he can get. And he ran hard to get some positive yards. Good job by the Titans. I think they got to do this all night is they got to get positive yardage. They can't get penalties. They can't get behind the sticks. They got to keep getting positive yards. So 32 upcoming for Ottawa Glandorf is Peyton Coolman, the six foot, 150 pound sophomore. Hands in the pistol, hands off to Rump. Rump off right tackle is met immediately. Had to get to the 35. I don't know that he ever got there. And it's going to be fourth and very short for the OG Titans. Yeah. Good job by the uh, guys up front to come in there and uh, plug that hole. And then they'll just like meet at the ball carrier. So looks like fourth and one. and. Titans look to be going for it. Titans offensive line looks like this. Will Schmitz, Austin Haley, Caleb Yoder, Connor Kitchen, and Cooper Nice. Also running backs Nick Ellerbrock, Grant Schrader, Carter Doolin, Ryan Ross, and Manny Carrillo will play offense for the Titans tonight. Kuhlman in the shotgun. Rump behind him on fourth and one. He'll fake the handoff. Fires. And that's Rump who yep. caught the pass. I think he faked the handoff to Nick Ellerbrock on a, like a little fullback dive up the middle and they kind of sung swung rump out on the outside and, and good job by Kuman kind of started on throw got a right to him between the one and the two first down Titans that's it's a that's a, a nice start to the drive Scott for an offense for the Titans they're they're high this year is 14 points they've not yeah. put a ton of points on the board and, and they've dealt with injuries and things like that but you know they're on the edge of the red zone right here looking to punch one in right and you know I, I'm sure the coaches heard it the players have heard it you know, Van Wert on paper is a lot better than them. And, and, you know, when you play reckless and carefree, you know, what do you got to lose? And the Titans are kind of coming out doing that right now. Ball swatted down by Aiden Pratt from his defensive end spot as Eller, or excuse me, Kuhlman was looking for Grant Schrader on the bubble screen. A first incompletion thrown by Peyton Kuhlman of the night. Yeah, and Pratt. Brings up second and ten. Sorry. Pratt uh, did a great job because uh, Schrader was open there yeah, in that was. bubble screen. That was going to get probably five to ten yards there. Good job by Pratt to knock that one down. You know, you're, you're taught as a defensive end. You can't get there, get your hands up, knock that one down. He almost intercepted it, too. So second and ten up coming for the Titans is Rump will line up as the deep back behind Kuhlman. Two receivers split line to each side. Kuhlman gives it to Rump. Off right tackle. Got to the 20-yard line. Gain of five for Rump on his third carry. Fletcher Smith kind of was a little, he didn't know what to do. Did I go to the quarterback or the running back? But Kuhlman, good ball skills there to kind of put it in the belly and act like he was pulling it out, but really gave it to him, and he kind of pulled it. And uh, Fletcher Smith kind of was indecisive and allowed Rump to cut behind him and get up center and get some positive yardage. So third and six here for Ken Schreiner's squad. Ball to 20-yard line with 7.45 to go on the Structures Outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Kuhlman. Sends Allerbrock in motion to the left. 
Hands off to Rump, has to bounce it outside. Now reverses field. Gets north and south. Didn't get the first down, but he's going to be very short or very close to it. He's on the 17. Looks like fourth and three from our spotter here. So they'll look for their second. Dale's concrete first down, and instead I think they're going to send out the field goal unit. So Tyler Holmbrink will trot out. So that'll be, a, what, a 34-yard field yeah. goal attempt? This would be huge for the Titans to come away with points in their first drive. Grant Schrader will hold. Snap is back. Hold is down. The kick is up, oh. and the kick hits the upright and is no good. A 34-yard attempt by Tyler Holmbrink hit the left upright. So each team has had one crack at it. 6.55 to go in the first. We'll step aside here on WOSN. Hands off to Brylin Parker, breaks a tackle, nearly broke another one as yeah. he got to the 35-yard line, just shy of the 40. Gained just a couple there for the Cougars. As uh, Ethan Metzger gets in there to make that tackle for the Titans, playing safety tonight. So second and four upcoming here for the Cougars. They'll send Parker in motion. Hand off to him in the open field. Oh, wow. Nearly got tripped up. Was yep. able to break that tackle. He's got the Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. He did a great job of uh, being able to get away from the uh, defenders as uh, Stexley and Metzger and a few of those guys had him cor corralled, but he put his foot in the ground and, and one beside him. To the Alta 42-yard line. Pratt rolling to his left, looking. Fires to Campbell. Ooh. Hit him in the chest and yep. dropped it. Yeah. Pass intended for number three, Connor Campbell. Broken up by number three, Grant Schrader. And a couple of incompletions here for Aiden Pratt Scott that we don't we haven't really seen so far this season. Yep. So second and ten, he'll send Parker in motion to join three other wide receivers and run the other way. Pratt on the quarterback keeper to the 50-yard line, just shy of the 45. Good play. Leland Smith Insurance Services first down. Yeah, what a great play call to get the pursuit to follow all the receivers and everybody in the motion. You swing the guard and attack him to follow him around. He's got some. He's got a caravan. Easy 10 yards for Aiden Pratt. You know, when he's got some guys in front of him, he can yeah. hang right in there. And then when they make their blocks, he turns it up the field and gives himself an extra three or four yards. So first and 10 on the Dales concrete first down. I, I miss smoke. They'll send Parker in motion. Pratt will keep it himself once again. Makes another man miss. Chase from behind is brought down just shy of the 40-yard line. As Jaden Steckschulte in on the stop for Ottawa Glandorf, but still a gain of just a couple there for Aiden Pratt to, to get some more positive momentum. Yeah, as Moss comes in there and, and uh, cleans up from his uh, lineman position there. So three receivers to the left of Pratt now on second and five. Fakes the handoff to Parker. Looking, has Maddox Crutchfield down the middle of the field. He dropped it in the bread basket. Yeah. And it's a 42-yard touchdown from Aiden Pratt to Maddox Crutchfield. Yeah. And that was that seam route that they had was like third and 20-some that um, Pratt just overthrew Crutchfield. That time he put a right on the money. Maddox Crutchfield, six touchdown catch of the season, makes it 6 nothing after the Leland Smith Insurance Services touchdown. Yeah. And a lot of times, like what Van Wert's going to is once they see that double high safety for the Titans, they like to run them seam routes, and they do. They have guys that can in there with Crutchfield and Smith and everyone else. Damon McCracken on for the Lee Kinsel GM Sales and Service extra point. It's through the uprights and good. And the Van Wert Cougars have a 7-0 lead over Ottawa Glandorf here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. A, what is that, a six-play drive there for the Manwork Cougars. Capped off by a 42-yard pass from Aiden Pratt to Maddox Crutchfield. And I'm sure the Cougars would like it to look that easy the rest of the night, Scott. Yeah. 
And, you know, the Titans, like uh, what we've seen from our spotter said, the Titans are in two high safeties, daring them to run, and they kind of ran that with Pratt with that sweep and then the quarterback draw, and then it kind of lured the Titans out of that too high, and then they ran the seam route right down the middle and got the touchdown. So the Titans will receive this kickoff as Grant Schrader brings it up the near numbers. He is hit and dropped by Brylin Parker. So Parker doing a, doing a little bit of everything here in this first quarter. Yeah. He ran down like he was shot out of a cannon. He was on a mission. Maybe he's not happy with uh, not, you know, he hasn't got much yards tonight, so he's going to take his frustrations out on the tights when he's covering on kicks. So first and 10 for OG on their second offensive opportunity after the missed field goal. Uh, a, a, a heck of an effort there on the kick by Tyler Ohnbrink for Ottawa Glandorf on their last drive. It just started drifting a little bit left and hit that post. And he had plenty of leg. It, it yeah. hit a, at least three-fourths of the way up that pole. So Kuhlman hands off the rump. He has to bounce it to the outside. Nice cutback. Cuts back up into the 31-yard line. So a gain of five there on first down for Cy Romp. Good positive yardage for the Titans. I think they're going to give him four, but close. Yeah, that was a good. I mean, it looked like he was going to be tackled for about a five-yard right. loss, but then he, like, hooked up and gained four there. Had to bubble that out just a little bit. Absolutely. That never, generally, you're not thinking, this is good. Right. So second and seven upcoming here for the Titans is Peyton Kuhlman. Lines up in the shotgun. He'll turn and fire. Ball's tipped, and it's nearly intercepted. The intended receiver, Grant Schrader, as number nine for the Cougars, Colin Haggerty, nearly came up with the interception. But, uh, good job by Pratt again from his defensive end position. I don't know if they got to get him to the ground or get him upfield, but he's doing a good job being disciplined, just staying on that defensive end and getting up and getting his hands in, in the passing lane. And I think part of it is, is Kuman, you know, kind of is more of a like of a sidearm quarterback. It's not really up above his right. head. He's kind of sidearm in it and allowing Pratt to knock that down. And again, that's how he throws it. Uh, so what? But you know, Pratt, give Pratt credit that seeing that on film to get his hands up. Three, three wide receivers and a running back to Kuhlman's left. He'll keep it himself to the 31-yard line. Gain of two. Bring it up fourth and about five. And Ken Schreiner will send the punt unit on for the Titans. I can see the play call there. You know, you, you, you've got the defensive end getting outside and getting up in the passing lanes. So you want to run something up the middle to keep him honest, to like at least think middle so he's not mm -hmm. jumping outside and knocking them passes down. So the Titans bring the punt unit on as Connor Kitchen will be back deep to punt. On fourth and five from the 31. Nice snap. And Kitchen. It's a high spiraling punt caught by Parker at the 33-yard line. Makes a couple of guys miss and is takes Gobbled a big up there, shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could, Ryan Ross in on the the first initial hit, I believe, for OG. Yeah, as uh, Nick Ellibrock was down there along with Justin Pope and Grant Schrader. Uh, good job by the uh, coverage unit by the Titans to get down there and bottle up Parker, who it's not an easy thing to do, and not many teams have been able to do that this year. But Titans did a good job there on the punt coverage. So the Cougars will send the offense back out for the third time. They punted on their first drive and then went six plays, 77, 75 yards. Capped off with a 42-yard touchdown from Maddox Crutchfield, from Aiden Pratt to Maddox Crutchfield, I should say, as the Cougars will come back out. Aiden Pratt, the senior quarterback, six foot four, 205 pound. Senior quarterback, completes 75% of his passes. That's just a number you don't see all that often in high school football. Brylin Parker keeps it, gets the handoff, goes out to the 44-yard line, so a gain of seven there on the carry on first down for the junior. Yeah, good tackle by Ryan Ross. Otherwise, uh, Parker might be still running because he made a great open field tackle, and there was really no many, not many blue shirts around. So second and four now for the Cougars. Three wide receivers and a running back. They'll hand off to Parker. Parker. Bounces to the outside, picks up the Dale's concrete first down before he shoved out of bounds, just shy of the 50-yard line. Big hit. So <laughs> Close to might have been. Caleb Yoger got a big hit out of bounds there, but he must have been inside and drove him out there. So first and 10 actually ended up just shy of the 50-yard line, but Pratt will be in the shotgun by his lonesome this time. Fakes the screen and will keep it himself. Gets out past the midfield stripes, the 46-yard line. So came to about five there on the carry by Pratt. And we've seen them run Aiden Pratt a little more 
more deliberately tonight than we have in yeah. the last couple of weeks. And I think what they're doing is they're trying to set up this. They're going to, you know, the Titans are playing that double high safety and daring them to run. They're, they're more afraid of this pass. And so Pratt's doing the right thing and, and making the right decisions of running the football. Pratt scans the field, turns, fires, and has Garrett Gunner. He slips past one tackler at the 10 yard line and he's brought down inside the 10. But Garrett Gunner's first catch goes for a long way. And the Cougars once again in business. Yeah, 30-yard pass off his back foot. And you can see why the, a lot of uh, Division One coaches are kind of taking a look at uh, Mr. Pratt there because he slung that one off his back foot. That was a heck of a throw. Pratt hands off to Parker, looking for his ninth touchdown of the season. He takes a big shot there as he got stood up, and Ryan Ross came in and wanted to deliver a message, and I think message sent. Yeah. Good job by Metzger coming up from a safety position and standing him up and allow his friends to come and clean up and get him down to the ground because he's a pretty tough guy to get down by yourself. So the Cougars faced with second and seven, second and goal, I should say, from the seven-yard line. As Pratt will be by his lonesome in the shotgun once again. Three to his left, two to his right. Parker lined up in the slot to his right. They'll send him in motion. Pratt will keep it himself. He's brought down by Jaden Steckschulte yeah, in the read. open field. Yeah, good job by Jaden Steckschulte to come, I don't know if he's playing a, like a hybrid linebacker yeah. position and defensive end. He came in there and basically uh, said, uh, made a nice open field tackle. 90 seconds remaining in this first quarter, seven nothing Cougars. As they're content to take plenty of time. Third and goal from the six yard line here would be a big stop for the OG defense if they can get a stop here. Right. No, not really any hurry there. No. Ten seconds on the play clock. Pratt will send Parker in motion once again. Four receivers to the left, and Pratt will roll back to the near side, and he's bottled up. Yes. Connor Ty Kitchen in on a stop. Yeah, and uh, I think Stexley was in there. Austin Haley in on yep. the stop as well. And Justice Pope from his linebacker. This Titans knew, kind of like they knew that one was coming. They, they ran out there. They, they kind of seen that play before. And good job, good read by the Titans to get out there and snuff that one out. So fourth and goal from the five-yard line as the clock continues to tink under a minute here remaining in this first quarter. And they'll send Damon McCracken on for the field goal opportunity. Rylan Parker will hold. 27-yard field goal attempt, 28-yard field goal attempt for Damon McCracken. Snap back, spot, good. Kick is up, and a kick is good. A 27-yard field goal by Damon McCracken has the score 10-0. Man work over out of Atlanta. Work. And then closing stage in the first quarter here on WOSN. First down tonight brought to you by Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. 10-0 Van Wert the lead over Ottawa Glendorf here in the early stages. And Scott, I gotta think that the Titans think that, you know, that's a that's a win holding them to three points there when you get, you know, four cracks at it from inside the 10 yard Absolutely. line. Absolutely. And the give that their linebackers and defensive line credit. They did a heck of a job sniffing out them runs three or four times there. That was a great job by that line and, and get penetration and get the guys to the ground. We talked about that in the pregame. Titans got to do a good job and getting them down to the ground and they did that. Grant Schrader receives the kickoff for the Titans at the 10 yard line, brings it out to the 25. Grant Schrader returns the ball for the Titans. Out to the Titans 27 yard line. Brought down by number three, Connor Campbell for the Cougars. Ended right on his belly, but it off to the ground there. So second and ten as Luke Wessel 
in on the coverage as well. So five seconds remain here in this first quarter between Ottawa Glandorf and Van Wert. Cougars with a 10-0 lead. Yeah, I think he had Grant. Grant was behind him. He just, yeah. he just kind of threw it late and didn't get it out far enough for him. So, again, he's a sophomore. He'll learn that in a couple years. He'll put that on the money. Side rump the deep back. Ellerbrock, the man in motion for the Titans. Rump the carry. Nice. Gets to the 35-yard line. Right. Barrels over two Cougar defenders. Side rump running hard. Good blocking by the big guys up front to open up that hole for Cy Rump to get uh, up the field there. Very close to a Dale's Concrete first down. We've played one quarter of action. We'll step aside. Cougars lead OG 10-0 on WOSN. Touchdown tonight brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services. Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. As the second quarter about to begin, Titans faced with third and very short. We'll see what they dial up here on third and one, Scott. Yeah, and again, that is a huge run by Cy Rump to get that nine yards. So now them allow them to open up the whole entire playbook, allows them to... Oh, they're going to call uh, fourth down, gonna I think. Say, it's going to be awful just, close. He's just shy. He had to get to the 38-yard line. He got to the 37 and three quarters, I think. It's as close as a uh, fourth and short as you can get. Yeah. And, and they'll send out the punt unit. Now, this is one of those times you got to be on kind of high alert, isn't it? <laughs> right. Right. Because, you know, I mean, Titans won for it earlier, and, and they were successful. I think they may go for it again. You just never know. Especially when you got, like, Grant Schrader yeah. up there in the front. They may just hand the ball to him, especially if the – if the Cougars drop deep, but you've got to play disciplined football here. So fourth and very short. They'll snap it back to Kitchens. And he will let oh. it go. And the bounce picked up by Parker at the 15-yard line. Ryland Parker looking to make a couple of guys miss to the 20-yard line. Has done so to two. He's brought out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Man, fans ain't happy. Got a little bit of... Uh, Guys uh, playing hard until the whistle, and uh, no whistle was said until he got thrown to the ground. So, and they teach you to play through the whistle. Yeah, not, right. Not right. to the whistle. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, man, we're going to have some of their best starting field, the, the best starting field position tonight, at the their own 37-yard line. Ten nothing. The Cougars lead over Ottawa Landorf. See what they come out with again. The Titans are, like I said, paying that double high safety and Darren and making them trying to run the football because they think they can control the run. And they did that when they got down there close. Yeah. You know, not not wanting them to uh, hit these open uh, athletic receivers in the seams. Parker in motion. He'll get the swing pass from Pratt. A couple of blockers out in front of him to the 30 yard line before he's spun down by a couple of Titans. I do you like have the about four there. Yeah, I do like the play call because, again, you get your athlete Parker out there in space and you get all these receivers making blocks and any, any one time you can get sprung. 10.30 to go on the structure outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Cougars with a 10-0 lead over OG here in the second quarter. Same formation to the other side this time. Parker will get the handoff, reverses field to the 30. A whole host of Titans yeah. defensively coming up as Cy Rump in on the stop for OG, as was Caleb Yoder. Yeah, good job. Again, I think the Titans think that they can stop them running, so that's why they're playing that double high. But then Van Wert's countering with a lot of motion and a lot of misdirections to mess with these linebackers to try to get some of these cutback scenes in. So it's kind of a great strategy going on here by both teams. And Van Wert told us one of the keys to the game was going to be controlling the line of scrimmage. And yeah. I think Ottawa Glandorf defensively has done a pretty nice job of that. Absolutely, and, and forcing them to run. Say, hey, you're not going to beat us by the pass. We think our linebackers and linemen can control you running the football. Pratt, third and seven. Fires through the hands of Nate Phillips, and the Titans might have forced another uh, Van Wert punt. Yeah, they did. And, and again, if he would have caught it, Carrillo was right there, and he would have had to make a, the tough open field tackle, but he was right there, and it would have been a couple yards short. So, again, good job by the Titans' defense, like I said. Van Wert's trying to counter those linebackers of not being able to come downhill and no and read run read run. They're going misdirection and, and trying to do motion to get them guys moving a little bit. Uh, give Titans credit though that they're they're reading these and and making plays. 
So Van Wert enabled to pick up a Dales Concrete first down, and they'll send Gage Steeman on to punt it away. It'll be interesting to see what both teams do at halftime, make these adjustments, good, good plays. Ball picked up by Grant Schrader at the 30-yard line, got to their 32. Yeah. So OG gets a football back after forcing another punt defensively. They've hung, hung right in there with, with a, a very potent vanward offense. Yeah, and you know, like you said, the Titans are putting five men in the box, and like you said, okay, we're gonna play double high safeties, you're not gonna get beat, I dare you to run it, and we think our five guys are gonna make some tackles. And you know, we said earlier too, the Titans did a great job on punt recovery. Right there, that ball hit once, twice into, into uh, Grant Schrader's belly, and there was six Van Wert yeah. Cougars there to make the tackle. So Van Wert also has great punt recoverage there. Peyton Kuhlman in the shotgun with Rump to his left. Drops back to pass. Sends a couple of guys deep. Rump down the middle of the field. He's wide open. He caught it at the 40-yard line, and he's off to the races. 20, 10, 5. Nobody's going to get him. Yeah. A 68-yard touchdown from Peyton Coleman. His first touchdown pass of the season to Rump. Good for 68 yards. Yeah. And, you know, we talked about the Titans. Darren, you know, Darren uh, OG. The, the, the Titans daring the Cougars to run the football. Same thing with it, it was Van Wert. They instead wanted dare the Titans to run it. They got a seam around a rump run right down the seam. And good job by Peyton Kuhlman to put it right on the money. Kuhlman, first touchdown pass of the season. Now the Lee Kinsel GM sales and service extra point. Honebrink puts that one right through the uprights. And the Titans have cut the lead to three. 10 to seven to score. We'll step aside, 9.22 to go here in the first half on WLSN. Ottawa Glendorf set to kick off after the Leland Smith Insurance touchdown. Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. Score now 10-7 on the scoreboard. Is Titans get that 68-yard touchdown. That's a big play, Scott. That was. You know, we talked about it uh, at the pregame, said how much beautiful night. And uh, I'm telling you, we're been an entertained with a very entertaining game as the ins and outs of the game is going with you know one team daring one team to run it the other team dare another team to pass it and and both of them are trying to get it done so it's a heck of a game so far home brink will send it deep for the titans ground by crutchfield at the four yard line he's brought down ryan ross the big hit for the titans all the momentum now with the guys in blue yeah and titans you know, they're making tackles. They're not letting them get money yards when they're coming up. They're making the tackles and getting them to the ground, and that's what they have to do. They can't let these athletes break a couple tackles and get in the open field because they can <laughs> uh, turn around a score real quick. Ben Word head coach Keith Record told us that the, one of the keys to the game was going to be that they win big plays. I think we're one for one right now, <laughs> aren't we? Right. Each team won a big play. Yes, sir. Pratt by himself in the shotgun. The 6'4 senior turns and fires to Crutchfield on the open field. He's out to the 30-yard line. He's got the Dales concrete first down and just a couple more yards. So easy pitch and catch for Crutchfield. Yep. Moves the chains. And right there is a prime example is the defensive back that didn't catch a number that came up there. And they came to try to get it, and he slipped beside it and got another 10 yards. So nine minutes as we approach here in this first half. 10-7. Cougars with the lead in the football. Pratt pump fakes. Will keep it himself. Dancing Bottles around, up yeah. the 37 yard line. Several Titans converge on Pratt. Titans kind of morphed to a five man front with one linebacker. So uh, kind of playing coverage, but they're they're daring them to run. Now they kind of morphed out of that into that 3 4 again. Pratt pump fake, same play this time. Oh, Titans were ready for that one. Bottled yes, sir. up at the line of yeah. scrimmage is Jaden Stackschulte. Makes the stop in the open field for the Titans. Third and relatively short here. And this is a big play for both, both squads a again. Absolutely. I, I know Pratt's a senior quarterback. I think the Titans shifted from this 3-4 to the 5-1. It's kind of confusing them a little bit. Pratt rolling. Stops. Ooh. Has to let it go. Left it hang there for a long time. Ball Pratt was, took a shot before yes, he threw he did. that football. Ethan Metzger, the sophomore defensive back, was busy worried about where his 
the guy he was guarding was running didn't right. really look up and see that the football was up for grabs. Yeah, he tried to get rid of it, but just as he was ready to unload, he got hit hard. I didn't see the number that got him, but good job by them linemen to get to, get to the quarterback. And we said they have to get there to him to put pressure on him. He kind of rolled outside and turned, and bam, he got hit. So Gage steaming on to punt once again. This might be the most action steam and seen <laughs> yeah, right. uh, all season, especially in the first half with 8.08 to go. And he's got a high end-over-end -end punt. Short bounces at the 41-yard line. Takes a vanward roll inside the 30 to the 28 and a half. And Ottawa Glendorf will have a long way to go once again, but another defensive stop for that Titans D, Scott. Yeah, it was. It was great. You know, that I touched on it earlier. I think the confusion. Titans are morphing into different looks, different fronts, and I think that's confusing Pratt a little bit. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's the plays that are being called, and the Titans are kind of morphing into different well, plays. They, they start with two high safeties, yeah. and then we'll roll uh, right, Grant yeah. Schrader up to sure. kind of a hybrid linebacker. So when Aiden Pratt's in the backfield, he's looking, okay, too high safety. And right. then right before he snaps, wait a second. <laughs> this changes what I was going to do with the football. Right. And I think you're right. There might just be a bit of uh, uh, some confusion there. From the, And there's a lot of guys standing up on that OG. Yeah, they're standing up, they're moving around, they're confusing the quarterback. Alex, or Ellerbrock, excuse me, Nick Ellerbrock, Nick Ellerbrock on the Ellerbrock, carry. Yep. Got to the 27 yard line, gain of three there on first down on Ellerbrock's second carry. Yep. And, you know, like we said, positive yards for the Titans. That's what they need to keep to doing. That's, that keeps them going, that keeps the momentum, that allows them to keep with their playbook. They can't get behind the chains, they can't get a penalty. Titans have done a pretty good job of that yep. this first half and it's allowing them to keep him in the game. So seven and a half to go here in this first half as Kuhlman will be in the shotgun. Cy Rump to his right. A wing and two receivers to the right as well. A drop back to pass. Looking down the far sideline. Looking for Ryan Ross. He caught it. No, he didn't. No, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard. It's a little dark over there. I thought he had it too. It looked like he came down with it and then all of a sudden seen the ball bouncing around. But again, good job by the Titans to take their shot, right? So now they got to honor that a little bit. Right. So they can't sneak up and, and, and start loading the box for the uh, for the run because they're going to sneak somebody down. That's a good, good play call, good decision uh, by Peyton Kuhn put the ball where basically only his guy could get it. Well, and really, uh, Ken Schreiner and the offensive staff for OG has done a great job of making Van Wert cover the whole field. Yep. They, they've taken their shots deep, they've, and they've been successful on the touchdown, but they've, they've ran the football between the tackles. They, they've made Van Wert cover the entire field. Third and seven, Kuhlman fires to the far sideline. Caught at the 30-yard line. Not sure on the number there. Reese Cruth uh, came in from a, a, a defensive back position and made the hit. Not sure who caught the football, if it was Grant Schrader or not. The pass was complete. Crew makes a stop, and Van Wert is going to force an OG punt. Yeah, and I think what Van Wert did, they want basically man coverage where everybody has their man and everybody else came. They came hard with a blitz there and made Koopen, Koopen get rid of it, but a good job by uh, Kruth to come there and make that open field tackle. Connor Kitchen back to punt once again for the Titans. Gets another nice punt off. It's spiraling, caught by Parker at the 34-yard line. Has to reverse field. Makes a couple guys miss. Got to the 42 before he swallowed up. But another nice job in coverage by the Titan special teams unit. Yeah, Mason Vogt got the got a tackle in there. Along with Chase Faber going down on his uh, punt recovery there. So the ball to 42 yard line. And, uh, coming into tonight, Scott, I would have thought that, you know, OG is probably like, okay, we got a limit possessions here for Van Wert. Now, this is what? One, two, three, four, five. This is sixth offensive possession yeah. for the Cougars in the first half. And only give up 10 and be in it 10 to 7. I bet if you're a, if Titan coaches, they would take this no problem. Yeah. See what see what this possession goes, though. See if they can keep confusing them with the defensive fronts. Tight formation. Parker in motion. And Ryland Parker gets the handoff from Aiden Pratt. But again, is hit immediately as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Now is able to muscle for a couple four four yard gain there yeah. from Rylan Parker. But uh, again, he's he's hit right when he got to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and Metzger had him, and he gets up slapping his hands like I had him, and he just bounced off him and got an extra five yards. Titans can't allow that to happen if they want to stick in this game. Cougars back quickly to the line of scrimmage, and they'll turn and get more instructions from Keith Recker and the offensive coaching staff. 
Ryland Parker will join Pratt in the shotgun on second and five with just under six minutes to go here in this first half. They'll sling it to Crutchfield on the open field. Got a couple of blockers to the midfield stripe. Stiff arms to the 45, to the 40. Still on his feet down this near sideline before he shoved out at the 25. A big play by Mattis Crutchfield. Looked like he was going to be out at the 50. Instead takes it 25 more yards. Yeah, and he did a great job. Like we mentioned, he was hit at the 50 and then he ends, gets another 25 yards out of that. And uh, I think what Van Wert has made the adjustment is they're trying to get the ball outside. They're swinging it. They're yeah. throwing the little pitch, trying to get the ball outside because of all the, everybody up front there. Parker showing patience to the 18-yard line, gate of six there on first and 10 after the Dales concrete first down. So the adjustments is to get that ball out in the screen pass. And we've seen that a lot against uh, Walpock. Walpock kind of did that a little bit too when it gets Van Wert and they had some success. So Titans kind of copying a little bit of that. And then uh, so... Van Wert's going to try to kick it outside. The Titans are going to, I think, call a timeout here. Yep. Leave your correct. A timeout called by Ottawa. Glandorf will step aside as well. 5.17 to go with the first half. Cougars lead 10-7 on WOSN. Extra points tonight are brought to you by Lee Kinsel on West Urban Road and Van Wert. Take a look at their pre-owned specials at Lee Kinsel. Com. One extra point for each side so far, and a Damon McCracken field goal is the difference. 10-7 to score. Van Wert the lead over Ottawa Glendorf. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside Scott Mag. Bringing you all the action here from Ottawa Glendorf. And what a fun first half of football we've had so Absolutely. far. Absolutely. It's been exciting, and, you know, it's it's all the, the in-game adjustments is what's really in, in intriguing me because it's like okay so you're gonna throw it so we're gonna go to this you're gonna run it then we're gonna switch to this it's like both is like a chess match this is fun and exciting to watch it's a chess match with 15 16 17 18 year old <laughs> yeah, kids absolutely aiden pratt in the shotgun by himself since brylan parker in motion pratt keeps it himself reverses field but he's spun down by about five or six titans okay, and it's a Gonna be short of the first down. Yeah, it's gonna be close, about a yard, maybe yard and a half. So Cougars quickly to the ball here, and now maybe not to allow the Titans to make adjustments. Smart move. Pratt, Parker. Looks like he did get the yeah. first down. Needed to get to the 15-yard line. They're about the 13 and a half. So that'll move the chains once again for a Dale's Concrete first down. Good smart play by the senior to get him to the line of scrimmage two times in a row and not allow the Titans to make them adjustments. Pratt fires oh. into the end zone through the hands of Nate Phillips. Yeah, he Wouldn't. held that as long as he could, yeah, he tried to get it. And Titans then, we'll see, he got a lick and so did Phillips, I think. Phillips wasn't going to be in the end zone, but was going to be inside the five-yard line, but goes through his hands. Yeah. He took a shot. Aiden Pratt took a shot. Uh, and Keith Record told us, oh, geez, active defensively. And I, I think they've shown that here yeah, in this right. first half. And, and you know what? They're hitting them, too. Like, you're, you're give them something to think about next time they come across the middle. So Pratt will roll and sling it back to Parker. Left oh, a little a high. And a oh, big wow. play Justice by Justice Pope. Pope. Wow. Stopping Parker. That play is designed to get everybody flowing one way and get them back the other. Justice Pope never uh, sniffed it out from the get-go. That's a big play by Justice Pope, a 5'7 senior. Yes, it was. And, and not only that, but to get the Parker down, in the, down that quickly, that was impressive. Eighth play of the drive up coming on third and 12 for Van Wert. Pratt scans the defense, turns and fires to Gunter, and he dropped it. Had Garrett Gunner shy of the sticks along the far sideline, but couldn't corral it. And that'll bring up fourth and 14. Yeah, and I think Gunter was going to run. He he didn't have any Titans near him, and he was kind of looking up fear before he put brought that one in. So we'll see if, if uh, the Cougars hey, go for it. Kind of in no man land here at yeah. the 17. You're looking at, you know, a, a 30. Well, they'll send Damon McCracken on for yeah. the field goal. But that's going to be a, what is that, a 33, or, a, yeah, 33. Yeah, 33, 34 yards, he's about 33 and a half. So well, trot Damon McCracken on for his second field goal attempt with 4.06 to go here in this first half. Snap back, McCracken's kick is up, and he missed it to the left. Yeah. So if you're a Titans fan, that's a great stop by them. They're pretty pumped going off the field. So 4.02 to go. We've had a missed field goal by both sides. I, I don't know that I would have... Had that on my bingo card for tonight, but. <laughs> no. 
OG will take over at the 17-yard line with 4.02 remaining here in this second quarter. And Scott, I was going to ask you, you know, is it almost like the, the basketball two-for-one for Van Wert there where, where you want another crack at it, where now OG's thinking, hey, let's let's use about four minutes and one seconds on the structure outdoor Ohio by old scoreboard. Right, and, but you know, like you said, it was fourth and 15. I think if it was fourth and 10, fourth and eight, Van Wert probably were going for it. They were kind of indecisive. Yeah. I think they wanted the seven instead of the three, but then decided for the three and missed it just a little left. Had plenty of leg, but just wanted a little left. Side rump on the carry on first and 10 for the Titans. Got to the 25 yard line. Gain a just a couple there, but a nice run by Cy Rump, who's he's, he's ran with a purpose here in this first yes, half. Yes, he has. He's ran hard. It's kind of the hardest I've seen him run all year. And, and not only that, but you can't say the line's doing a great job blocking, as well as those uh, wide receivers out there to allow him to turn that corner and get upfield. So second and five upcoming for Ottawa Glandorf. Seven points on the board. Their season high of 14. Looking to put that on the scoreboard right now. Kuhlman with Rump to his right in the shotgun. Rump will take the handoff. He's got the Dales concrete first down. About a yep. yard more. Yeah, he's it's 31. Yep. And a great job by the Titans because Van Warren is playing zero coverage, meaning everybody, if you look out here on, on the on the TV, the this next play, every defensive back is one-on-one -on -one with the receiver, and they got uh, seven guys in the box because they're like, okay, you're not going to throw it. We're going to put eight guys, seven guys in the box, and you're going to, we're going to try to take away this run. But give the Titans credit, those that line are doing a great job getting a push and and uh, allowing Cy Rump to get up the field. Deals concrete first down. Rump another carry, his third consecutive. Got back to the line of scrimmage, maybe a half yard past that. On, it'll bring up second of all. Excuse me. But what that first down does is allows that clock to keep running. Yeah. Right? So it gives them another set of downs. Even if they don't get the first down, they can maybe flip the field. If they get a 40-yard punt or a 30-yard punt, they can flip the field, make Van Wert go the distance with, again, they have three timeouts, but hopefully less than a minute if you're a Titan fans or Titans can chew up the clock and maybe get a score here. Titans also get the football begin the second half as they'll sling the Grand Schrader with a 30-yard line. Luke Wessel, a nice open yes. field stop by the defensive back. Ryan Ross was trying to block him out of bounds, and Luke Wessel able to slip past the block and pull down Schrader in the open field. That's a heck of an open field tackle. Just for a short gain, you know, if he misses that, Grant Schrader is probably getting somewhere close to that first down, but good job by Wessel to get him, wrestle him and whip him out of bounds. So under two minutes to go here in this first half on the truck Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt scoreboard. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt bring your indoors out. 145 in the second quarter, 10-7 to score. Van Wert the lead over Ottawa Landorf here. Titans faced with a third and eight. As Peyton Kuhlman will line up in the pistol with Cy Rump behind him. Rump gets the carry on the draw to the 35. Needed to get to the 41. Well, I think might have got to 36. I was say, yeah. about the 36. Uh -huh. So it's going to be fourth and about five. See Slightly if, surprised Van Wert didn't call a timeout here. Right. Maybe a timeout just because Titans are going to let this run all the way down to 30 seconds, and yep, Van Wert's going to take a timeout. Yeah, let about 10, 15 seconds tick off there, but Cougars take a timeout. We'll take it with them. They lead 10-7 over Ottawa Glendorf here on WOSN. First down tonight brought to you by Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete decorative stamping in Lipsick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Titans, short of the Dale's Concrete first down, going to bring up fourth and five. And it, it sure would be awful courageous to, <laughs> to fake one here, wouldn't it, at the, your yeah. own 36-yard line? You, yeah, I, I, I'm not. You'd have to be a riverboat riverboat gambler <laughs> to take this one, I think. And there's been a couple short, times, you know, yeah. it's been fourth and one where you thought maybe they'll they'll do that here, but fourth and five from your own 36 when you've got all the momentum, that you, riverboat gambler would be a, a, a good adjective to use there. Right. And look look to see if uh, Van Wert um, will like go through the seams and try to get a couple guys deep and then curl yeah. somebody underneath on when they come back to the offense. Looks like the Cougars going to put on a, yeah. a rush here. Right. Try to get it. Kitchen. 
able to get a high punt once again. Crutchfield will fair catch it. Ooh. Nearly bobble it. Yeah, Did bobble that was it. Close. Nearly lost it, but Maddox Crutchfield corrals it, and the Cougars will have 61 seconds to try to punch in another one. Absolutely, as Ryan Ross was right there. So 101 to go here in this second quarter. Cougars will have the football at their own 29-yard line. But we've seen they have the ability to strike quickly. Yeah. But, you know, the Titans, again, I think their adjustments, their three down linemen have done a good job of stopping the run. Their linebackers have come and filled, or AKA these hybrid safety type linebacker guys have done a great job of tackling. Justice Post's been everywhere tonight, and uh, even Stexley has been around first making some tackles. First and 10 for the Cougars. Three receivers to the right. Pratt turns and fires that way. It's caught by Connor Campbell, or Derek Gunner, excuse me. He picks up the Dale's concrete first down, just shy of the 45-yard line. A pitch and catch there, Gunner in open in the open field. Right, again, it gets out of bounds. It also gets first down, so it'll be a uh, complete pass. We got a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage oh, yeah. where those three wide receivers were. We'll see if maybe yeah, uh, one of those wide receivers held a little bit. Yeah, they might, or they may have been blocking before the ball was in the air, too. Who knows? That's tough to do as we see here to know when that ball's again coming out. So the officials confer over on that far sideline. Still awaiting a signal. If it's you're a walking hold, backwards, so. That's a tough, yeah. if it's a hold, you're, you're first and 21 basically here for the yeah. Cougars. I think they're calling a hold. Kind of what played them that first possession of the game. They got the hold and they had to go back deep in their own territory. So we'll see if they try to attack this or they take a knee and say, okay, we'll fight another day and, and come out uh, second half. Offensive pass interference is the call there by the Cougars as they were blocking before I uh, got to the line of scrimmage there. So going to be first and very long. Yeah. We'll see how that changes maybe Van Wert's Van Wert's ideas here at the end of this half. First and 224 since the Cougars come on 224, so we'll see. Titans are that too high safety or pretty far back there. Keep everybody in front of you. Don't get beat deep. So first and 25 for the Cougars. They'll hand off to Brian Oh, he's fumble, lost fumble. the football and it's scooped up by the Titans. Austin Moss, Johnny on the spot. I don't know who knocked that away. It might have been Stexley got in there, but I, I think uh, Crutchfield slow getting up. Oh, and there he's up. Fumble by the Cougars from Bryland Parker. That's a big play for that OG defense. Absolutely. So now the Titans are in good shape. 40 seconds, two timeouts. So plenty, plenty of time if you're a Titan fan to see what they can do and turn this around and at the very least tie this one up at halftime. Titans plus four now on the season in the turnover margin. So they've got the football to 24-yard line, 40 seconds, and two timeouts to, to work with. Let's see if Van Wert comes back with the... Uh, Zero coverage where everybody has a man-to-man -man and trying to stuff this run. Don't let the Titans run the football, but... Runs the deep back behind Kuhlman in the pistol. Kuhlman fakes to Rump. He's going to chuck it deep. Looking for Schrader. Ball's batted away. Excuse me, looking for Ryan Ross, I believe. Nope, Carter Dueling maybe. Carter. Definitely somebody for yeah. OG. <laughs> it's Carter Dueling, I believe. So Titans take the shot there on first down. So 34 seconds now remain in this first half. Good job by Carson Smith to get over there from his kind of a hybrid safety position to knock that one away. So second and 10 with the ball to 24 yard line. This is a pivotal series here for the Titans. They get the football to start the second half as well. So they yeah. can put a touchdown on the board and then get the football. Uh, they, they've got to feel pretty, pretty good about how this first yeah. half has gone. And I think if you're a Titan fan, you want to get at least five to seven more yards yeah. to give your field goal kicker at least a, a better opportunity. They're going to call a hold there on the Titans, so that's going to come back, and now yeah. they're going to be probably, like I said, second and 224. Now they're going to be all the way back to the 40 and 28 seconds. You might just take a knee and say, let's uh, get to halftime, boys. Yeah, you got the every yeah. everybody in the stadium, at least on this side, was able to see <laughs> the, the hold here as uh, Coolman was trying to scamper away. And, yeah. Just happened to be as close to the guy with the football as you can get about a hole. Well, and again, the, the offensive lineman was doing his job is trying to keep him in front of him. All of a sudden, Kuman 
gets out of the pocket, so now he's got to move his feet, and the lineman sees before the defensive lineman sees, and he's got to turn, and that causes the hold. And, and, and that's just natural reaction. Yeah, Somebody's about right. to get the guy you're trying to stop him from. <laughs> well, and, yeah, not only that, but you can't. Ha you don't have eyes in the back of your head, and when he moves, you see that guy move, so you're trying to hold him on, and he gets past you. So I believe second and 26 here for the Titans. Coleman will be in the shotgun. And will roll this way. Sets up, fires over the middle of the field. It's caught. Oh, that's a heck of a play to get his yards back, basically. 25-yard line, Cy Rump makes the catch. Caught the touchdown pass, the last drive there for the Titans. And with 16 seconds remaining here in this first half, timeout called by OG. We'll step aside as well. We'll have the conclusion of this first half of action when we return here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Titans faced with a third and 11 after the pitch and catch from Peyton Kuhlman to Cy Rump. Got back a, a big chunk of those penalty yards to, to make you know, third and 11. Doesn't seem manageable compared to third and 26. It is. And the thing is, you got the ball down to the 25. So uh, nonetheless, you get five yards here. You get at least your field goal kicker an opportunity, to maybe with a couple seconds left, to at least attempt a field goal or chuck it into the end zone. Kuhlman with Rump behind him. They'll hand off to Rump. He'll bounce it to the outside. Got to the 20-yard line before he shoved out of bounds. They'll say the clock continues to tick. And Ken Schreiner, Johnny on the spot over there to call timeout for the Titans. So seven seconds remain. Tyler Honebrink tried to attempt from, uh, what was that, uh, 34 yards earlier and hit the upright. So right. at the 20, you're looking at a, uh, what is that, 39 yards? I would say 37, 38-yard field goal. Uh, I think he's going to be at the 36-yarder. Yep. Yeah. So we'll see. He had plenty of lane in the last one. He just yeah. hit it. It, it was three, three quarters of the way up on the, right. the, <laughs> the goalpost. Well, and the, just hit it. He just didn't get it in between the, them. The sound it made on the post let you know that there was there was some <laughs> oomph behind it. It right. just, just was a little to the left. Yeah. What momentum would this be? The Titans oh, going absolutely. in at half tied, 10 to 10 scoring. Defense has played really, 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 really well this first half. I tell you, if you're Ken Schreiner, you've got to be super proud of your kids. And then, and you know, if you're Van Wert, what do you do at halftime? Do you come out? you got you got to find you got to find something. The Titans are confusing, I think. Uh, the Cougars on, on uh, offense and, you know, defensively, I, I think what the Cougars are doing defensively, basically they're going cover zero, everybody man to man, and said, you know what, if you think you can beat us running, then go ahead. We're going to try to put load the box and see what we can get. So the Titans will attempt the field goal, a 36-yarder. Going to be attempted by Tyler Holmbrink. Grant Schrader will hold with seven seconds to go here in this first half, looking to tie it up. Snap is back, the hold is good, the kick is up, and the kick is good. A 37-yard field goal by Ottawa Glandorf. Ties it at 10 as we head to the halftime break. Yeah. Cougars are saying there should be about three seconds yeah, left right. on the clock. And I believe in in the NFL, at least, the, the max a, amount of time to come off the clock on a field goal is five seconds. There were seven seconds remaining. Yeah, I think and they're, the, they're going to want more time up there. Well, you get Two a little, seconds. You get a little home cooking with the, yeah. with the, with the clock operator wearing your colors up here. Yep, you know, two seconds. It makes make sense, but yeah. a 37-yard field goal by Tyler Holmbrink was, was true. Yeah, both field goal kickers are one for two tonight, and both uh, teams, both quarterbacks have made long throws and put it on the money, so, I mean, it's like almost a carbon copy. What a heck of a first half. Looking forward to that second half. This is going to be exciting finish. So tied at 10, two seconds left, and uh, really, you think about, I, you don't want to, I was going to say maybe an onside kick because you don't want to kick it deep. You don't. You get Brylan Parker in, yeah. in any open field, but you also don't want to no. take the risk of either the ball going out of bounds and Aiden Brack and chuck it to the end zone from probably out of it here. So I don't know. Yeah, at least, maybe even for Jennings. So uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, how Otto Glendorf handles this kickoff with two seconds left, but uh, tied at 10 here. 
on the structure outdoor Ohio by out scoreboard. They've got to feel really good about the way this first half is yeah, played out. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I would bet it's going to be some sort of squib kick so they can't get, you know, momentum and kind of run down there and, and make a play or, you know, if you put it in the air, they can fair catch and at least have two seconds. So I, all kinds of possibilities here. So we'll see how Tyler Honebrink handles this kickoff. He's got the football teed up at the 40-yard line. We'll kick it away. Cougars with a couple of guys back deep. Probably don't anticipate those guys getting a football. Homebrink, a low-line driver. Bounce, caught. Campbell. Connor Campbell with the 35-yard line. Trying to make a play. Yep. Good job by the coverage team. Ryan Ross and Pope, Justice Pope, who's been everywhere, along with uh, Mason Vogt's also been there making some tackles. So that'll do it for the first half of play. We're tied at 10 between Ottawa Glandorf and Van Wert. We'll step aside, come back with third quarter action for you here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Second half about to begin, tied at 10 between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Van Wert Cougars. I'm Garrett Seamright, joined alongside Scott Mack. And Scott, uh, what a fantastic first half there. Oh, both teams saw a little bit of everything. Both squads, one for two in the field goal uh, game. But it, we're tied at 10, and I think if you, when, when the public address announcer in a lot of stadiums around Northwest Ohio tonight said that score. There's going to be a lot of, wow, but here we are tied at 10 at the halftime break. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I, You know, we talked about it kind of before we went off uh, of break here for halftime is, you know, I, I we talked, the Titans have confused Aiden Pratt. And, you know, it, it's confused him. You yeah, mentioned his uh, stats-wise, he's unofficially 7 for 15 for... It's just 7, seven of 15, 15 is what yeah. I've got. And, uh, again, these are horribly uh, uh, unofficial <laughs> stats. But 7 of 15 for a guy who completes 75% of his passes, right. that, that OG defense has done a nice job. Absolutely. And, and he's kind of threw a couple of them high. A couple – he missed uh, he missed Crutchfield in that first possession running up, this, up the seam. So he's just been a little off. And I think part of that is because he doesn't know if the Titans are going a 5-1, they're 3-4, walking down the safeties. The Titans are – or like his pre-snap read could be double high safety, yeah. and then they walk that guy down. So I, it, it's confusing him, I think. Uh, so they're going to have to make adjustments, or maybe they're just going to, you know, call a play and they're just going to have to go with it, and, and whatever the what they come up with. So I think that is going to see if we can get that. that if the Titans can still confuse him the second half, because I thought their game plan has been exceptional. And on the other hand, Van Wert's game plan defensively has worked out pretty good too, because they're playing man to man and say, "Hey, we dare. We don't think you can beat us passing. We're going to load the box." Titans have come out and passed. They're not really a passing team. So again, this it's going to be exciting second half to see what kind of adjustments are going to be made. And and really, uh, when you look at you know, Ottawa Glandorf offensively, their one touchdown comes on a one play 68 or a touchdown drive where, you know, they kept, get signed rump behind the defense. Where uh, Van Wert, they, they've gone eight plays, seven plays, you know, when they're used to, you know, a four play 65 yard drive with a 40 yard touchdown or whatever. Right. OG has made them work yes. offensively longer than maybe anybody else has this season. It's kind of like, like you know, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Everybody tried like Michigan did to them last year. Make them be patient, try to make them the short passes, play that deep zone. You know, and make them be impatient and good things happen. Grant Schrader on the return out to the 30-yard line for the Titans. So they'll have relatively good field position to start this second half. Yes. And, you know, we, we failed to mention this as well in our halftime adjustments. Titans got the turnover with one minute left yeah. and, and got that field goal. So they're capitalized on the tournament, on the turnovers. And, you know, the Titans have played pretty much mistake-free football so far tonight, too, as well. So first and 10 for the Titans as they begin the third quarter of action with the football as Peyton Coolman will line up in a shotgun through his first touchdown pass of the season to Cy Rump in the first half. They'll pitch out to Rump. He's got one man to beat. Can't beat him. Luke Wessel and Brylin Parker on the stop for the Titans. And we get a penalty flag here along the near side. I think they're going to call a face mask. Yep. Yeah, I, I thought that too. Rump's head kind of snapped down on the tackle. They're going to call a face mask, and I don't think the fans over here on this end are very happy yeah, with that call. Uh, uh, the very first thing I heard someone shout was, that's not a face mask, which is generally, that, that means it probably was a face mask. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be second and 
uh, one. A it yard. Five, it, was a, it was a five guard, a five yard variety. So that means he didn't really yank on it. He just kind of grabbed it. I think. I will tell you, Scott. I'm a little surprised that you know high school hasn't done away with the five yard face mask. That you know, college you pull somebody's face mask doesn't matter. It's a 15. 15. Yeah, you're right. It's and it's it it takes away from that discretion from the official. They see a face mask. Yeah, and it's, it's 15 it's, yards. I mean, makes that, it easy. that's a legit safety <laughs> issue. Absolutely. As Rump gets another carry here, gets this Dale's concrete first down and a couple more shy of the 45 to the 43, but he does move the chains on his second consecutive carry. Yeah. And, and he's running hard tonight, and that's been really successful for the Titans. Usually he's not coming down on that first hit. He's usually taking the second, third, fourth guy to get him down, and he's running hard and getting some positive yardage, exactly what the Titans want. Run the ball, get positive yardage every possession, eat up some clock and come away and, and come away victorious tonight. Titans leading the turnover battle tonight. one nothing after that fumble recovery at the end of the first half. Now, Ken Schreiner told us one of the big goals was to score in the red zone. They weren't able to do that. They're trying to work their way there now. They'll send Ellerbrock in motion to the left as Coleman back to pass. Will fire down the middle of the field. Has Rump again, and it's picked off by Maddox Crutchfield. Crutchfield did a great job. He kind of baited baited Kuman to throw that pass and he kind of threw it a little bit late. He, if you put that out in front of Rump, he might have had, but Crutchfield cuts underneath it and intercepts that one. So Crutchfield makes the catch up, gets the INT, and that is Maddox Crutchfield's first interception, I think, of the season. He did a great job of getting there and uh, coming away with that interception. So Van Wert will go back on offense to begin their first drive here in this third quarter. Their own 32-yard line. We'll see what halftime adjustments they made. And we talked about it in the first half, Scott, that it was you know, a bit of a chess match. So, okay, if you're going to have you know, two high safeties, we're going to run the football. And Otto Lindorf defended a run. And they, you talked about just trying to make Van Wert get impatient and see if they'll take you know, a bad shot, so to speak. Pratt, the play-action pass. Wide open on the far sideline is Garrett Gutter. He's brought down shy of the 45-yard line, but it's a Dale's concrete first down. Something to keep an eye on. They kept Crutchfield in to block, and he did a great job of blocking that right defensive end and allowed Pratt to throw the ball, and this time he threw overthrew uh, Crutchfield. I think he was thought he was going to turn up field a little bit there. Yeah, Maddox Crutchfield listed 6'1". If he was about 6'3", that one might have came down with him, but instead yeah. a bit too high off the fingertips and incomplete. And they might have rushed themselves. They got up the line. They had the Titans confused, and I think they had that play, but he'd rushed it a little bit. Second and 10 from the 45. Three receivers to Pratt's left as he'll roll this way. Puts his foot in the ground and now has to reverse field, and he is going to be spun down. Sacks for just the fourth time this season as number 57 for the Titans. That's uh, Moss. Austin Moss with the stop. That's a big play for Austin yeah. Moss to push Van Wert. Aiden Pratt back seven yards to bring up third and 17. And the Titan front four, along with uh, Justice Pope coming from his linebacker position, get there to Pratt. And now the Titans are now going to, looks like they're going to drop back into coverage. We'll see if Pope comes. Yes, he does. Five receivers in the formation. Pratt flushed from the pocket, looking, fires, caught by Gunter. Yeah. Two yards past the original line of scrimmage, but it's going to be fourth and long. Yeah. But see what that sack did. It caused them to be behind the chains and I think they're going that incomplete. He was out of bounds. Oh, well, that, that'll make it fourth yeah. and 17. It's hard to see from this end. We're at this vantage point. We're on the other side, but it looked like a good catch, but he was out of bounds. So fourth and 17, Gage Steeman will come back on to punt for Van Wert. I would guess this is as many times as Gage Steeman has punted <laughs> in a oh. game there in the first half, right. <laughs> let alone in a game. the entire game as Steeman. Low line drive, end over end. Bounces the 40-yard line. And it'll be down by the Cougars as the ball continues to roll. The 21. So OG forces another stop. Yeah, so really that, that interception kind of acted like a, a deep punt. And uh, Van Wert had negative yardage there. So to give the, the yeah. defense credit, they still confused them a little bit. They did get that one first down, and then after that, they kind of uh, shot themselves in the foot with a penalty and give the Titans credit for uh, shutting the door there. So both squads rocking with just one Leland Smith Insurance touchdown tonight as the Titans try to put one on the board here. Time 10, 9.42 to go here in this third quarter as Peyton Kuhlman will be in the shotgun. Rump the deep set back. 
Rump gets the handoff, and he is swallowed up by Jackson Jones immediately. Yeah. Jackson Jones did a heck of a job from his defensive tackle position. He used a swim move and got in there. He was all, he was at Rump's uh, pocket when he got the ball. It looked like he, he shot out of a cannon there by Jackson Jones. Great play by the 6'1 senior. Titans faced with second and 11 here after the big play there by Jackson Jones. And really that's one of those first times we've seen the, the Van Wert defensive line yeah. get penetration and get a tackle for loss. Absolutely. The one time the Titan lineman kind of let the guy get by. They've been controlling the line of scrimmage all game. We'll see if that continues for the Cougars. Rump the handoff from the left of Kuhlman. Stops, makes one man miss. Got to the 23-yard line. A gain of two there on second down. But it's going to be third and long here for this Titan defense. It might be you know, one of those obvious passing situations. Right. Ashton Bear there with the tackle did a heck of a job from his cornerback position. And uh, Rump, there really didn't have any cutback rooms. He had the, the basically the whole defensive line was coming, pursuing him from the backside. So he just put his foot in the ground, turned it up field to at least get a positive yardage out of the play because he couldn't cut back because he had all the linemen behind him. Third and nine for the Titans. Three receivers will head to the left or the right of your screen. That's Coleman. Now sends Allerbrock to his right. Coleman with plenty of time to throw. Side arms it. The closest receiver here along the near side was not sure who the closest receiver was. Is that was uh, Griffin Simon. Griffin Simon. The yep. intended target there, but that's incomplete. Uh, that's a relatively short possession there yeah. for the Titans on the three and out. So here's Van Wertz. They counter. Right, they come out a little bit. They played coverage there. They had four or five guys there playing zone. They weren't playing man to man, and I think it confused the sophomore quarterback. He was thinking man to man, and all of a sudden he looks up and they're in the zone. And the last two times kind of caught him on the guard. So it, it's the defensive coordinators doing a great job confusing the offensive guys. Connor Kitchen back to punt for the Titans. High kick caught by Parker at the 35 yard line. He'll scamper just a few yards up the near sideline. He's going to get a block in the back there, I believe. Chase Faber was flying down on the kickoff or the punt coverage there. So we'll see where the ball is going to be spotted. The officials get everything in the correct spots. Got a block yeah. and a back against the Cougars. It's not, you can hear kind of the fans when they're uh, not happiness there. So 8-11 to go here in this third quarter on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt scoreboard. Van Wert will have the ball at their own 25-yard line to begin their second drive here of this second half. Cougars. Keith Record told us he wanted to see them play with a sense of urgency. I, I think we might get that here in the second half after the talk at the yeah, halftime break. Right. Parker gets a gain of five yards there on first down. And speaking of you know things that maybe Van Wert has dealt with differently tonight than they have throughout the rest of the season, Rylan Parker has carried the football a lot here yeah. in this first half and now right. to start the second. And he's made a lot of tough yards, right? He's used to getting in the opening and getting five tens, something like that right there. That's what he's used to. What Aiden Pratt's running right here, running wild the first time that he got. He's got the Dales concrete first down and more into Ottawa Glandorf territory down to the 45-yard line. A big carry there by Aiden Pratt out into the open field. The Cougars want to move quickly. Right, and I think so they can't get the Titans to change that defense. At least this way, the Titans have to get the call in quick or go with what they were in. So now Pratt now knows what they're in. They sling it to Gunner along the far sideline. Slips one tackle. He's got the Dales concrete first down and more. Barrels through a defender at the 25-yard line. Down inside the red zone. Two back-to-back -back big plays yeah. for that Van Wert offense. But looks like we might have a penalty flag on the field. Yeah, I, did. I see something there. Yeah. As the official, the head official, the white hat, pointed to a block in the back, I believe. Not happy are the Van Wert faithful. No, no. But we touched on this in the pregame. Titans have to, Titans have to tackle in space. And right there, yeah. the last two possessions, they missed plenty of tackles and allow 
their athletes to make a three guard play into a 20 and a 30 yard gain. Titans have to get that corrected or this is going to be a long second half. Well, and Ken Schreiner told us we, they have to eliminate big plays, and that's, yes. that's two big ones right. back to back. Right. Think, now, you could argue the second one was because of a block in the back, but uh, now we'll bring up first, and I think 21 is the call, but uh, th th that play by Aiden Pratt was certainly a big play for Van Wert. Yeah. And what happens when they get those successful plays, they hurry up and they're they're changed, they're going pace, right? They're getting up to the line, they're going fast. That's confusing the Titans. So now they're they're doing their chess maxes on offense to kind of confuse the Titans defense. Right on the quarterback power, keeps it himself. Got past the 50 yard line once again, down to the 48. So a nice chunk of yardage there for Pratt. Game of about nine on first down. The offense coordinator getting into plays in quick, so they're up to the line of scrimmage, and and hopefully they're getting the Titans and young guys not lining up where they're supposed to be. Phillips to catch at the 40, and he's cut down on the open field. A nice play there made by Manny Carrillo to stop Campbell short after the completed pass. So third and about four upcoming here for the Cougars as they ratchet up that speed once again. Three receivers and a running back to Pratt's right. He'll roll to the right. And he finds Garrett Gunner, slips a tackle at the 25, makes another man miss. He's shoved out at about the 21-yard line. Pitch and catch there from Pratt to Gunner is good for another Dale's Concrete first down for yeah. Van Wert. And again, they're able to go fast because they got a three-year starter back there in quarterback, a guy that understands offense, has been around, knows his playbook probably like the back of his hand, so they can run anything at him. Pratt will keep it short to Phillips. Tries to slip another tackle. Does. Still on his feet at the 10-yard line before Grant Schrader stands him up and sits him down. Yeah. As the Titans, maybe you're getting a little tired. You're kind of missing a lot of tackles. I see a lot of guys flying and missing. Titans got to start tackling an open field. Approaching the midway point of this third quarter, three consecutive completions by Aiden Pratt. He's had seven of 15 in the first half. He'll hand off to Brylan Parker, and he'll run up the middle of the field. Parker inside the five, breaks a tackle, and he's got his ninth rushing touchdown of the season. Yeah, that was a press and running by number seven. Parker there to get up the field as Crutchfield kind of slow to get up. I, I think he's got a leg injury because he was kind of gimping around a little bit. He's slow to get up. He still looks like he's in a lot of pain out there. An 11-yard Leland Smith Insurance touchdown run by Brylan Parker makes it 16-10. Touchdown brought to you by Leland Smith Insurance Services. Your first call for all your insurance needs. So Damon McCracken, who's made a field goal tonight, comes on for the Lee Kinsel GM Sales and Service extra point. Snap is back to hold us down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. An 11-yard touchdown run by Brylan Parker puts it 17 on the board for Van Wert. Titans with 10. For third quarter action coming back on a return of WOSN. Extra points tonight are brought to you by Lee Kinsel GM Sales and Service on West Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at their pre owned specials at Lee Kinsel. Com. Cougars with a 17 10 advantage over the Ottawa Landorf Titans here at Titan Stadium. I'm Garrett Seawright, joined alongside with Scott Mag, bringing you all the action here in this Western Buckeye League matchup. And Scott, these two teams have played fantastic matchups last, I think, five years. Last year was a five point game, uh, two overtime games, a one point game, a two point game. These have been two very <laughs> evenly matched football teams over the course of the last five years or so. Yeah, they have been. Both of them have been at the top echelon of the WBL for. Like you mentioned, the last five years, so both teams have been, it's been uh, knockdown fights, and tonight's no different. Let's see if the Titans can answer with this touchdown here. Damon McCracken will put his boot to the ball. A high end over end kick, not very deep, caught at the 15 yard line by Grant Schrader. Got to the 20, slips a tackle. If he could have gotten past that right. one, might have taken it to the yeah. house. You're right. But he got to the 25 and brought down finally by Brylan Parker. Parker, yeah. Parker did a good job of holding on for dear life to his feet. I, I agree with you. He he breaks out of that tackle. He had this whole field because uh, Titans had a good job blocking that. So the ball spotted at the 26-yard line. That's where Ottawa Glandorf will start their third drive here of this second half. Threw an interception on the first one. Kind of had to punt it away the second time. Yeah, we'll see if if Van Wert defensively plays that zone coverage, it kind of confuses the Titans a little bit. Titans, first and 10. 
Schrader and Carrillo will come to the right. As the Titans will call a timeout, couldn't get lined up directly. They'll step aside as well. 5.50 to go in the third. Van Wert with a seven-point advantage over OG here on WOSN. First down tonight brought to you by Dale's Concrete Decorative Stamping in Lipsick. All Dale's Concrete Decorative Stamping for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. 17 10 the score here in this third quarter. This WBL matchup between the Vanwerk Cougars and the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Titans come out of come out of the huddle, their first uh, play of the drive, and couldn't get lined up there, Scott. And that's going to be one of those timeouts that uh, Ken Schreiner's probably not going to be thrilled about. Right. And, you know, he kind of talked to us about it about the Titans are inexperienced growing pains, and then you know, here we are in game five, and they're still still going through yeah. those inexperienced growing pains. Cy Rump, the handoff on the counter. He's got plenty of room for a Dales Concrete first down. A couple more out just shy of the 40-yard line. A big play there by the Titans once they got everything combobulated. Yeah, it sure did, and, and good job by the Titans to call that timeout, thinking that that play was going to get something, and I like that play called misdirection. You know, if they're going to play man-to-man, -man, you run somebody deep, that guy's got to run with him and you run somebody behind it on a misdirection, and he got that a wide open field, as I did, and uh, he had to get chased down from behind by some of those linebackers. So the Titans looking to put their highest point total of the season on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. The high 14 thus far. There are 10 right now looking for a Leland Smith Insurance Services touchdown. Peyton Coleman back to pass. Screen to Schrader. Oh, what a great play. Or, excuse me. Perhaps. No. Is that that? Pratt, yeah, I believe that was Pratt out there making a heck of an open field uh, catch there at that kind of screen. Now they got a flag. Pass was complete nope. to Griffin Seifert, or uh, Simon, excuse me. I see a flag go up there. Now they're, yeah, now they're saying there. Excuse, there is no flag. No. But the pass was complete to Simon, but he stopped for a loss of about a yard and a half. Second along here, one of the first times we've seen OG faced in you know these behind the chain situations. Yeah. Coolman in the gun. Takes the chest high snap, turns, down fires, and he got, yeah, he's had to catch the football with well, his knee on the again. ground. That's Schrader. No, or, I think that's, me, that's Simon, Simon again. again. Yeah. Ball was down by his uh, kneecap, so he had to go down and get it. And unfortunately, though. His knees touch the turf, so therefore he is down instantly when he catches it. So third and 12 upcoming. Not the ideal distance for any team, especially the Titans with a young quarterback and some inexperienced players. They want to be short and two or three or four yards. Well, and generally, you know, third and 12 is, you know, screen time. Well, the last two screens have yeah. pushed you back two yards. So <laughs> right. uh, not, not the ideal situation for the guys in blue to be in, but the sophomore Coleman in the shotgun will drop back. Stands in the pocket, delivers a football yeah. over the middle of the field. It's caught by Ryan Ross, Ross right at the sticks. Fight for, yep. We'll see where they spot him. The official along the near side is going to have him as I think enough for a first down. Yeah, I believe both of them. It's a great job by Ryan Ross to find that uh, open spot in the seam of that zone. Kind of ran everybody deep, turned, and good job by Peyton Kuhlman to find him. Good route by Ryan Ross and good pass by Peyton Kuhlman. Had to get to the 48. They got to the 48 and the third, I think. <laughs> that moves the chains. It's another Dale's concrete first down there for the Titans. Heck of a play for the Titans at fourth and, or third and 13 there. Clock continues to tank under 3.40 to go in this third quarter. Titans trail 17-10 on the structure outdoor, structure outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Counter again to Rump. And he's gobbled up Jackson Jones. Will slam him to the turf. Another big play there from his defensive tackle spot to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Yeah, he got great penetration there. And then uh, Rump kind of turned back in him. And Jackson Jones says, you ain't going any farther. Got him down to the ground. Great play by Jackson Jones. Yeah, Jones is 6'1", 240-pound senior. When you get the bear hug from him, there's probably not too many guys that get out of that. I bet not. I, I, I No, I... You are 100% correct on that. So the ball right at the 49-yard line on second and 10. As the Titans have 10 seconds left on the play clock to get set up here. As Kuhlman with Rump behind him in the pistol. Eller brought the wing. Kuhlman turns and fires. Ooh. He threw it a little outside of yeah. the intended target, Carter Doolin. Thought he was going to go outside, and he kind of motioned inside and kind of miscommunication there. 
think just he had him. He had yeah, him, but yeah, he, he just went the wrong way. Yeah, and it, I, you know, wasn't too complicated. Just the old, you know, yeah. eight-yard hook route. Of, right. Uh, but he broke to the inside, and Coleman threw it to the outside. Absolutely. So third and ten once again. I'm coming here for this Titan defense, or Titan offense, I should say. There's Caleb Yoder, the senior center, about to deliver the football back to Coleman. Will turn and fire to the top of your screen. It's caught by Carter Newling. He scampers to the pylon. He got in. It's a 51-yard touchdown. A great pass by Peyton Kuhlman. Put it on uh, Carter Dooling. And you know, I talked to some of the coaches today for the Titans, and say, they said Carter Dooling had one heck of a week of practice. And it's great that you know he had a great week of practice, and he ends up catching a touchdown for the Titans. So that is awesome for that young man to put in the work during the week at practice and then reward himself with a touchdown on Friday night. A 51-yard Leland Smith Insurance Services touchdown from Kuhlman to Dooling has it at 17-16 on the scoreboard as they'll trot out the field goal unit for the Lee Kinsel GM Sales and Service extra point. The snap is back, and a man work Cougars block it. You can't return it, but nonetheless, they retain the one-point lead, which could be a pivotal play yeah. in this Western Buckeye League matchup. Reese Crew was coming off the edge. He, he almost got that field goal to end the, uh, the second quarter, but he did a heck of a job to come in here and get that... Uh, Extra point. We got a one ball, one point ball game. We'll step aside with 2.34 to go in the third quarter. Cougars lead 17-16 here on WOSN. Extra points tonight are brought to you by Lee Kinsel on West Urban Road and Van Wert. Take a look at their pre-owned specials. LeeKinsel.com. That Lee Kinsel extra point attempt blocked by Ottawa Glandorf and it keeps the score 17-16. I imagine that could be a pretty important yeah. play coming down the stretch here, Scott. Right. You know, it, you mentioned it earlier that every game for the last five years has been either overtime or a couple points here, a couple points there. You leave points off the board and it comes back to bite you. We'll see what, the, uh, what that comes to fruition here, but you're right, that's going to hurt a little bit. Tyler Holmbrink on to kick the extra, or kick the uh, Kick off after the extra point was blocked. And the Cougars, Crutchfield. Maddox Crutchfield has a convoy of blockers, but he is gobbled up. A big hit there by Will Schmitz of Vonneba Glandorf. And the Cougars going to have a long way to go once again. So he got to the 23 yard line, but no further after the hit by Schmitz. But what a pitch and catch. I know we didn't get a chance really to talk about it. Right. Pitch and catch here from Peyton Kuhlman to Carter Dueling. His second touchdown catch of the season. Second touchdown pass of the of the year by Kuhlman. Uh, second touchdown pass of the night. But uh, just dropped it right in the bread basket. A fantastic sure throw from the sophomore. Yeah, sure did. That was, good. that was a good pass. So Aiden Pratt will be in the shotgun with Brylon Parker to his right. Pratt will keep it himself. Jukes. Gets to the 30-yard line, gain of about seven there on first down for Pratt, who has carried the football, uh, I would say, as much this year, or much tonight as he has the rest of the season. I would agree with you. And that, I think that's due to the Titans. The Titans slow to get lined up. We'll see if this, as they get. He's got uh, Nate Phillips down yep, the near sideline, and Phillips is going to go all the way. Yeah. A 71-yard Leland Smith Insurance Services touchdown. Pratt saw it from the get-go. Yep. Phillips just ran past his defender, and Pratt drops one in the bread basket for 71 yards. Yeah, that's a great pass by Adrian Pad, but even more so how quickly they got lined up and caught the Titans sleeping. Uh, the two defensive backs, Carrillo and Schrader, were late getting there, and uh, Phillips were in right by him. So Nate Phillips catches his second touchdown pass of the season, and Van Wert puts another Leland Smith Insurance Services TD on the board. So McCracken on for the Lee Kinsel extra point. Snap is back to hold us down. The kick is up, and the kick splits the upright, so it's an eight-point advantage. Now for the Van Wert Cougars. Extra points brought to you by Lee Kinsel on our West Durban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at their pre-owned specials at LeeKinsel.com. We'll step aside, 2.02 to go here in the third in this Western Bucket League barn burner on WOSN.
Tonight's scoreboard sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by All Sled Structure Outdoor Ohio. Bring your indoors out. We've seen plenty of numbers added to the Structure Outdoor Ohio by All scoreboard here in the last about 35 seconds of game time here. Right. Uh, Otto McLandorf and Van Wert lighting up the scoreboard here in this third quarter. 24 to 16 to score. The Cougars with the advantage. Yeah. It's almost like one team says, what you can do, I can do better. Watch this. Yeah. Okay. You thought that was good? Just wait. So a two-play, 77-yard touch, touchdown drive for the Cougars. Has them an eight-point advantage. A high, short kick once again, caught just inside the 15-yard line by Grant Schrader to the far sideline, out to the 35. Just shy of the 40-yard line. Nice return there by the senior wide receiver. Yep. Junior wide receiver. Excuse. Yeah, it was a great job of the blocking. Got some push, and he got a caravan of guys in front of him. Got all the way out to the 40. Way to help the offense, Grant Schrader. So the ball, I'll say he stepped out about the 36-yard line. The Titans already with their highest offensive output of the season with 16 points. Trail by eight here in this Western Buckeye League matchup. So the Titans will break the huddle as Peyton Kuhlman We join in the backfield by Cy Rump. Ellerbrock lines up as a wing. As Kuhlman hands off to Rump. He swallowed up immediately. Aiden Pratt at the bottom of that pile. Yeah. Holding on to the legs of Cy Rump for the stop. Great job from his defensive end position to come down the line of scrimmage and wrap up Rump. It gave him no cut back and he tried to dance forward and Pratt said, yeah, you ain't going anywhere. So we approach 90 seconds to go in this third quarter. It'll be second and 10 for the Titans. Trailing 24-16. Carrillo, Schrader, and Ross to the right of the formation for the Titans. Kuhlman joined to the backfield by Cy Rump. Kuhlman fires too high for Carter dueling the intended receiver right at the midfield stripe, and it'll be third and long. Yeah. That's a good idea. He was open. He just threw a little too high. And I'll tell you what, for a sophomore, uh, Peyton Coleman, he's got he's got good pocket presence. He has not you know, been forced out of that pocket too much. Right. He's hung in there and, and delivered some nice yeah, footballs not like, the middle. He's not squirmish back in there. He's standing in there, and I don't know if he's been hit much. He, uh, he's been getting rid of the ball before he's taken those blows. He's playing smart. Just that one got, got away with him. He's seen him, and he just let it get away from him a little bit. So the ball at the 36-yard line for third and 10. Titans looking for a Dale's concrete first down. Bunch formation to the right of the formation. As Kuhlman stands in the shotgun, rump behind him. He'll now roll, stop, fire, looking for Schrader, and he caught Broad it. Broad catch. Good catch. That was a nice throw, too, by Peyton Kuhlman to put it over top the linebacker and just kind of drop that one in from the heavens. That was a heck of a throw from Peyton Kuhlman. And Grant Schrader, the, you see the strength with the hands yeah. and the, the forearms where it, there was a defender's hand between his, and he's able to hold on to that football. That's a big first right. down conversion for the Ottawa Glandorf Titans as they move the chains once again for a Dales Concrete first down. Yeah, you're right, Garrett. He had two hands on it, and that defensive back was pushing, trying to get that away, but Grant Schrader tucked that one in and got it. In for a reception. Bunch formation to the other side of the field this time as they'll turn and pitch to Cy Rump. He'll try to turn that corner. Ashton Bear hawks him down on the open field, though a big play by the Van Wert defensive back. Yeah. Coming up and making a play, and Pratt was there too from his defensive end position. It's a second and seven upcoming here for the Titans, as that might have been the final play here of this third quarter. I think you're right. Titans in no hurry. They're ready to go the fourth quarter. Pretty pretty important drive here. And if they get a successful two-point conversion and a touchdown, we'll knock this one up, and they'll take their chance with their defense. So we'll head to the fourth. Van Wert 24 out of McClandorf 16. Fourth quarter action coming up in this Western Buckeye League matchup on WOSN. First down tonight brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping. 
They're in Lipsick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. 24-16, a fourth quarter about to begin here on WOSN. Garrett C. Wright joined alongside Scott Mack, second and seven for the Titans here. And they've done a nice job of keeping, you know, the, these situations pretty manageable on second and third down. They sure have, and they've, you know, they've done it with the pass a lot. They mix in a little bit of run, but they've been doing it in the passes. Third, fourth quarter, we'll see if that continues for the Titans. Bunch formation once again. Peyton Coleman looks to throw. He'll come to the near side looking for Ryan Ross. It's got a bit too long and off his fingertips and out of bounds. I actually think that was for oh, Carter, Carter Dillon. Yep. He's seen him, and he I just don't think he got as a good grist with a guy ball came, came out a little bit wobbly there. I bet you Peyton Coleman wish he has that one back because he had him. He was open. He just kind of short-armed that one. Coleman threw for 108 yards in last week's first start for him. He's got, uh, what is that, 68 plus 51. He's got uh, 119 yards and touchdown passes tonight. Yeah, so. so things have gone a little better for him here in week number six in his second start. And he's hoping they go better for him on third and seven. Rump the deep set back as they'll run the reverse. Grant Schrader looking for the throwback to Kuhlman, and it's nearly oh, intercepted by a, Logan Dotson. Yeah, the big he, fella got his mitt on it. The 6'5", 250-pound junior almost one-handed that puppy. Yeah. I tell you, if he wasn't 6'5", that got over top of him. Peyton Kuhlman had some uh, green, fake yes, green did. grass in front of him. He might have been got that one to the house because everybody was going towards where Carter Dooling was. They lost. I seen three defensive back put in overdrive to fly towards him. Good job by Dotson from his his right defensive end to get out there and get that one knocked down. And, and you can't fault Grant Schrader, who no. you know probably didn't plan on you know I might need to put just a little bit more air under this one, but uh, it was uh, a nice call and a nice pass. But Logan Dotson able to tip yeah. that one away at punt from Connor Kitchen. Gets it inside the 10-yard line or so. We'll see where they spot it. Right at the 10-yard line is where the official walks. So Cougars going to have to go 90 yards after the punt by OG. Yeah, that might be at the yeah eight. They went down to the eight, looks like. So a long way to go for the Cougars as they nurse an eight-point lead. Against these out of Land North Titans, of course, Van Wert four and one on the season. OG one and four coming into this week six matchup. But and the Titans have hung right with the Cougars. <laughs> right, absolutely. And the way this game is going, you wouldn't have suspected the Titans are one and four. They've kind of played very, very well. Pratt in the shotgun. Parker to his left. Fakes the pitch to Parker. Keeps it himself. And he's brought down immediately. Ryan Ross in on the stop. Four out of a Glandor. Yeah. Titans got to get in position and get lined up because this one got them last time. Pratt ran quarterback sneak and then they hurried up and ran a play. Titans were late getting there. So Titans got to get out of the tackle and get out there so they can get in position and make tackles. Pratt fires to Phillips. He's very close to a Dale's concrete first down. But they'll mark him just shy of the marker. Yeah, and it's almost kind of similar to what they did before. They had... You know, Pratt ran, and then they kind of slow to get up, and he's quick to the line. Titans are late getting in coverage, and got a stoppage in play. So they'll say it's a first, first down. down. Yeah. So it's a Dale's concrete first down after the official got over there and got standing next to the down marker and went, oh, you know, wait a second. <laughs> this might be uh, at first the 19-yard line. <laughs> right. That's got to be a first down. So Pratt will line up in a gun once again. Parker to his right. He'll turn, fire, and it's caught by Gunter. Gunther. And he's, that's enough for another Dale's Concrete first down. Trying to get out of that shoestring tackles, kept jumping, 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 and quickly to the line of scrimmage. Pratt by his lonesome once again, the 6'4 senior. Back to pass, turns, fires oh, to great Parker. Play. And a Good nice job by, Ryan, yeah, by Ryan. Ryan Ross. Yeah, he jumped in front, uh, knocked that one away. Ryan Ross listed on the roster by Ken Schreiner as Walter Ross. I'm told he went by Walter for for one school yeah. year. Yeah, well, yeah, second grade. <laughs> that is his first name, Walter Ryan Ross. And he came into school in second grade. My son's in his class said, yeah, I want to be called Walter. Wisened up the older he got, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I Ryland guess. Parker on the carry. It's Cy Rump and 
stopping number 65, Austin Haley, on the stop for the Titans. It's a third and seven upcoming for the Cougars. Pivotal play for both squads. Right. Pratt rolls out, fires, caught by Phillips. Oh, what a but he's shy of the first down marker. Grant Simon come up and make a play. You know, this pace is, is not only affecting the defensive backs to get to get lined up, but if you notice, these linemen are gassed. They're hard to get lined up, and they're not really coming off like they were when they took their time. So this is this is really taxing to the defense. Big fourth and one play, Parker. Joins Pratt in the shotgun. He'll get the handoff at a timeout call. Yep. Timeout called by the Cougars before the play. So we'll step aside as well. 9.50 to go in the fourth. Van Wert an eight-point lead over OG, 24-16 here on WOSN. Leland Smith Insurance sponsoring our touchdowns tonight. Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. Fourth and one upcoming here for the Van Wert Cougars. They called the timeout right before the play was snapped. And take a little extra time to talk about it here on fourth and one and what yeah. could be a very important play. Yeah, absolutely, because, you know, if they don't get it, Titans get all the uh, all the momentum, got a short field, but if they do get it, you know, you could maybe run the clock out if you get a long, sustained drive. I look for some misdirection, something, maybe Pratt or, or um, Parker going the opposite direction. So they'll turn and pitch it to Parker at the corner. He had to get to the 40. Yeah. He got the first down, got to the 42. 42 yep. Well, we've seen that formation a couple of times, yeah. Scott, where they send Parker in motion the other way and let Pratt keep it. But this time, we've got an injured Cougar on the field. Yeah. Ooh. It's an offensive lineman, number 57, I believe. Story. Devin Story yeah. is down for the Cougars. So we'll that, keep it here just for a moment. And that, that play did, didn't look like a very efficient there. That you know, It's kind of something maybe they drew up in the dirt or something. Right, like, because okay, you like, guys stand over here. You two kind of just waltz this way a little bit. Yeah. If somebody comes at you, pitch it to him. Right, like, kind of. Okay. It didn't look like that was... Uh, that had been practiced a whole lot. That right, wasn't, and that, that wasn't might have been a... one practice staple. <laughs> right, that might have been a play that they just put in on the timeout or... Recently, because that I mean, didn't look as crisp as they have they have been. But that's, that's basketball coach territory, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Like, all right, here's Something. what I want you to do. I want you three Something. to stand over here. You never, you ever pull one out of the, pull one up on the whiteboard? Uh? Oh no, I plan everything. <laughs> 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 so they pick up the Dale's concrete first down. Dude, the, the Cougars. We'll see uh, what their what, what their plans are here. The Devin Story is the injured Cougar, but first and ten, they got an eight point lead with nine forty five to go here. I assume it's too early to start talking about, you know, hey, stay in bounds, go down, let's run some clock here. I don't know that you want Ottawa Glendorf if you get another crack at the football, do you? Or with, well, with, you know, with too much time? No, probably not. I mean, if you don't score, but I think this high-octane offense is looking to score every time they touch the right. football. So I don't think slow and uh, stay in. I think it's go as go fast as you can. And yeah, that's just how they play. And you, you know, you just can't change what you do. You know, you gotta be who you are no matter what. And you just gotta keep playing fast. And I think that's what they're gonna do. So Devin Story, the injured yeah. Cougar up off the field. Glad to see him gingerly walking here to the near sideline. Yeah, I hope he's not too uh, injured too seriously, but the good news is he's just walking off ever so slowly. So the clock says 9.45 here in this fourth quarter on the structure outdoor Ohio by Alts scoreboard. 24-16, the lead for the Cougars. They've got the football with the ball at their own 42-yard line. And I don't know, Scott, that we really discussed how important that fourth down was. If they don't yeah. get it, Titans get the football at the 39-yard right. line. With all the momentum. Yeah, that's and, a big, and, that's a big and fourth down. 10 minutes to go, so plenty of time. That was huge fourth down. So Cougars still in their huddle. Keith Recker giving further instructions to his offense. As Maddox Crutchfield, Garrett Gunner, and Carson Smith, Connor Campbell, excuse me, be to the right of Pratt in the shotgun. Parker and Nate Phillips to the left. Pratt pressured, fires, got it to Campbell, just shy of the midfield stripe. And a nice open field tackle by Carter Dueling. Grant Schrader coming in, or excuse me, uh, 
Moss, 57, Austin came in there. Moss yeah. comes flying in to help make the stop there, but it is a completed pass and good for about six yard gain there. So second and short. You see the Titans now roll that coverage once again to just a single high safety. Pratt will keep it himself. He's got an alley at the 40, one man to beat at the 30, 25, cut down in the open field by Ethan Metzger. But another big play there by Aiden Pratt on the scamper. Picks up a Dale's concrete first down. That's a great job by the receivers, and Crutchfield came in from his receiver position to pitch the linebackers down, allow uh, Pratt to run right behind him and got that seam up the sidelines. Ninth play of the drive upcoming. It'll be the longest drive of the day by plays for the Cougars as Pratt slings it to Gunner inside the 15-yard line. He steps out of bounds. He's brought down by Justice Pope. It'll bring up uh, just a gain about two there on the play. Yeah. Good job by Justice Pope to get out there and make that tackle. Leave the middle of the field open. Ooh, almost got it. Connor Campbell with the catch. Connor Campbell's in the end zone. A 16-yard pitch and catch from Aiden Pratt to Connor Campbell. Extends the lead for the Manbert Cougars on the Leland Smith Insurance Services touchdown. Campbell had four touchdown catches last week. Had one coming into the contest. And puts another one on the board for his sixth of the season after the 16-yard catch from Pratt. So Damon McCracken on for the extra point. Snap is back, hold is down, the kick is up. And the kick is good. 30-16 the score. Van Wert leads out of Glandorf with 8.29 to go on WOSN. We're now accepting nominations for the John Reed Leadership Award. Nominate coaches who exemplify Christian character, humi humility, discipline, mentorship, leadership, commitment to others, and excellence on the field. Nominations can be made at WOSN.TV slash John Reed. 31-16 the score. Titans with, or excuse me, Cougars with the advantage over the Titans as the Ottawa Glandorf special teams unit comes on to receive the kickoff with 8.29 to go here on, in this fourth quarter scoreboard, Scott, and just uh, got that football to Connor Campbell where they've been trying to get the football to guys in space and we're finally able to get one right. there. He made, made a couple of guys yeah. uh, miss on, on the way to the end zone. And I think the adjustment that the Cougars made at halftime was a play with some pace, and that's really affected the Titans, I believe. Schrader braces for the hit at the 21-yard line, and he's dropped down. Luke Wessel to stop for Van Wert. Yeah. Great tackle. Great coverage by the Cougars. So 8.24 to go in the fourth. Titans will start at their own 22-yard line. The Van Wert drive a 10-play 92-yard touchdown drive the last time. That's about as impressive as you can ask right. for for that Van Wert offense. Especially, you know, you're backed up against your own goal line, only up eight. You want to get at least get it out of there, and they put it all the way down into the Titans' uh, end zone. So that was a heck of an impressive drive by the Cougars. Cy Rump joins Peyton Kuhlman in the backfield, the sophomore quarterback. Sends three receivers to his right. And now we'll drop back to pass. Looking at the seam. Ball is tipped Almost. by Wessel, nearly intercepted. Yeah. Ashton Bear got a hand on it as well, as Grant Schrader, the intended target. And he threw that into double coverage as the Cougars are well aware of who they want to really throw the ball to as Grant Schrader trying to get him deep. But uh, great coverage by that secondary of the Cougars. So second and 10 upcoming here for the Titans. And they're kind of in, you know, hey, we got to start throwing it a little bit more medium. and. And right. deep here, down 15 with 8:18 to go. Yeah, we got to get a, we got to get a score and kind of hurry, it, you know, as fast and, and as well as oiled machine as that offense is by Van Wert. We got to get the ball in the end zone. They'll pitch it out to Rump yep. with a couple of blockers out in front of him. Nice job by Ryan Ross out yes. to the 30-yard line to the 31. So Rump very close to a Dale's concrete first down. <laughs> 
Yeah, good job by Ryan Ross to get out there and be the lead blocker, so to speak, and allow Cy Rump to get an extra five, six, seven yards with that block that he had out there. So third and short here for the Titans, under eight minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. Trailing by 15 on the Structure Outdoor Ohio by all scoreboard. Yep. Third and one, you keep it simple here and just run the football straight ahead, try to get the first down. No, you just got to run your best play probably to get that first down. Rump, the handoff. Fake no, handoff. Coleman yes. kept it himself. Great Fake just out, yeah. faked out the Van Wert defense. He scampers for the Dales concrete first down. Right. He, he faked us out. I, I didn't realize he had the ball until he, he kept running. And, you know, because I would buy eight guys, one after <laughs> side rump. Yeah. They were thinking the same thing we were from up here. Nice. Scamper there, might a sophomore quarterback, picks yeah. up the first down, keeps the drive alive. Great play call to allow him to get outside and run that ball. So bunch formation to the left. Coolman hangs in the pocket, fires left it short of Carter Duel. And that's probably, a, a, you know, if he threw that right on it, uh, Wetzel was right there. He might have cut in front of that and picked that one off. So good job. Decision by Peyton Kuhn to get that one probably a little bit low to leave only if his receiver the only one to get that. So second and 10 ball at the 43 yard line. 7.26 to go in tonight's Western Buckeye League matchup. Again, Not still plenty of time. Sorry to cut yeah, you off no. there. I apologize for that. Titans. But still plenty of time for the Titans there to get, but they got to score. Right, got to get a touchdown yeah. here to stop it. sling it to Rump. Rump tried to slip out of the tackle of. Aiden Pratt couldn't do it. Did, gave everything he could to try yeah. to get out of the grasp of the quarterback, but Aiden Pratt, the 6'4", 200-pound senior, came flying up and made that stop. Yeah, he read pitch, and he flew up the line of scrimmage, and, you know, at the, nonetheless, if anything worse, he was going to force him back inside, but he dove at the ankles and made that tackle. Great individual effort. Hey, you're absolutely right. And uh, Cy Rump, if he could have got out of that, might have got back you know, to the line of scrimmage at, at the least. And you, you count that as a win. But right. Hayden Pratt had a firm grasp on that ankle. Yeah. And it brings up third and 14 instead. Kuhlman in the shotgun. Stands in and fires down the middle of the field. Has a pair of Titans. It's up for grabs and it's intercepted. Ashton Bear gets the INT for Van Wert. And that's a big defensive stop for the Cougars. Yeah, it sure was. But again, they were on Peyton Kuma. They had two or th they had three guys just kind of thrown up for grabs. You know, I don't blame Peyton Kuma. It's a great call. You're going to say, hey, we're going to throw it up and let our athletes try to out be athlete, right. your athletes. And unfortunately for the Titans, Bear came away with that ball. So Van Wert gets their second interception of Peyton Kuhlman on the night. And with a two touchdown lead. See if they go ground and pound here a little bit maybe. Get the football back with 6.33 to go. We'll see how much they're interested in running the clock or yeah. trying to put more points on the structure out there Ohio by out scoreboard. Pratt with Parker to his left. We'll hand off to the junior running back. He'll patiently await for the hole and run right into the heart of that OG defense. Yeah. And the Titans, for the most part, has done a really good job on him, I think, tonight. Yeah, Ryland Parker is, yeah. uh, he is scampered for uh, a couple of impressive runs the last couple of weeks, and, and Ottawa Glendorf has really bottled him up for the, for the most part. Now, Parker did have an 11-yard touchdown run earlier in tonight's contest as he now stands on the right hip of Aiden Pratt as they try to get the Titans to jump off sides. Yeah. You know, they're, they still land up, got up in pace, right? Kind of faking yeah. like they were going to go fast, but really they're milking this clock down to run whatever they want here. The no negative one. side of that, though, is those offensive linemen are sitting there like their calves are burning. <laughs> right, like, right. Come on, snap the ball, snap the ball. Right. I can't it's, hold this forever. Uh, and now they got a block all day yeah. as Pratt finds Campbell for a deals concrete first down right at the 45 yard line. He's corralled by. By Cy Rump. Yep. But, but Pratt, a lot of time to throw there. Yeah, kind of he, he's too good a quarterback to get that amount of time. Those fish, or those of, uh, receivers are way too good. They'll find the open spot in that zone or man-to-man -man and get open, and he'll find them. Parker, the handoff right up the middle. 
gets to the midfield stripe to the 49 of Ottawa Glandorf. Gain of three, or gain of four there, excuse me, on first down. But it's been tough sledding from him. Three, four yards has been yeah. very, you know, he's been bebopping around like pinballing her off the Titans to get to where he's needed to get to. And it's going to be one of those nights where, you know, he had 20 carries for 80 yards and a yeah, touchdown right. that, you know, it doesn't look like he, he did a whole lot, but he, he's been an integral part of this Van Wert offense. But, but he's been he's been punished a few times for yeah. carrying the football in the middle, middle of that defense as well. Absolutely. Titans done a good job bottling him up. Second and six. Pratt going to keep it himself this time. Has a convoy of blockers, Dale's concrete, first down and more out to the 41 or to the 40 to the 39. Yeah, and I think he took a knee there and he kind of slid down, I believe. Kind of looked like it already tripped, I'm not sure. But if it was, if he did go down and take a knee, what's a heads up, right. heady play that no one like, hey, I had the first down, I'm okay, I'm gonna go down here. Right. Uh, don't we don't take need, a hit. Yeah, we don't take a hit. I don't need to score. We just need to work clock here. Clock continues to move. 4.20 to go on the structure outdoor Ohio by on scoreboard. Cougars 31, Titans 16. Pratt with Parker to his right. Crutchfield lined up as the wing. Ryland Parker, another carry. Patiently waiting and now busts through the one. middle of the field at the 20. Breaks two more tackles and Ryland Parker's gone. A 39 yard touchdown run for the junior running back. His 10th of the season. But there's a flag. Oh, it's yeah. going to come back hold. There's yeah. a flag right at yeah. the line of scrimmage. Yeah. And Holding. A great individual yep. effort there by Ryland Parker to it break sure a couple was. of tackles, but it's coming back. It sure is, yep. What a great, you know, and you can see how dangerous he is when he gets in the open field. Yeah. Right there was a prime example. He got in the open field, and he was like, he wasn't going to be denied of the end zone. And the Titans, for the most part, had not allowed him up, up until then. Yeah, that was the, you know, the first carry over, you know, 15 yards from Ryan right. Parker tonight. It was poised to be a, a big one to extend their lead out to three touchdowns, but instead it'll come back and the ball be spotted at the 47-yard line. Yeah. Great individual ER. effort by him, no. <laughs> but none for not right there. So it's set of six points on the board, it's first and 20. Oops. Cougar faithful, not thrilled with the call. No. Pratt will keep it himself. He's gobbled up. Carter Dooling, Dooling spins yep. him down good job by the 45. Yeah, good job by Carter Dooling to get out there and get his paws on him. Gain him uh, three there for Pratt on first and 10. Or not first and 10, first and 20. He'll be by himself with a shotgun this time. 6'4 senior, scans the defense, fires to Parker at the 40, and he's picked up and put down. Ryan Ross and Stack Schulte on the stop for the Titans. So got close to the original line of scrimmage. So the ball spotted at the 41. No, they've got to get to the 29. In no hurry now. You know, like yeah. again, they're into the line of scrimmage. They do line up quickly, but they're not really snapping as fast as they were. They were snapping in within 10 seconds of the play clock, and now they're kind of 20, 30 seconds. Pratt Ooh. will go deep, looking for a man, and great coverage by Grant Schrader. He was looking for Nate Phillips and couldn't connect. Phillips kind of upset with himself there a little bit. Really one of those first times we've seen Aiden Pratt try to go up top, and OG's just played, you know, two high safeties all night, yeah. or one high safety all night, and said, no, you're not going to throw a pass. Right. It has worked for the most part. Yeah, other than the 71-yard touchdown to Phillips earlier yeah, where right. they just got lined up faster than yeah, OG. Right. It was, right. Uh, that's been one of the only times that they've really tried to go deep. And, and I think, like you said, we've said plenty of times, the pace in the second half gassed the Titans. They didn't get lined up. It gassed the, those uh, down linemen that couldn't get in position. Caused some problems. Gage steaming on to punt for Van Wert. Punting from the 50-yard line. Wobbly kick caught at the 5. Fair caught by Grant Schrader. Nope, Simon. Grant Simon, yep. Just eights and threes. Yeah, they all look the same. <laughs> Those are tough. So with 2.49 to go in the fourth, Titans will get the football back. Unfortunately for them, it's at their own five-yard line. 
He's going to trail by 15. Got to string a couple positive plays. Does not necessarily have to be 20, 30 yards. They got to get, you know, positive plays and, and either get out of bounds or get first downs to stop the clock. Titans still have two timeouts left. Uh, we'll see if, uh, you know, there's still hope. Like I said, they got to get positive yards and either get first downs or get out of bounds. So Kuhlman will send a man in motion, Ellerbrock, and hand off to Cy Rump. Rump patiently awaits through the hole. Out past the 10 yard line, about the 13. So a nice game there on first down for Rump. Tell you what, Scott, Scott Cy Rump has had a, a, a nice ball game here tonight. Caught the touchdown pass earlier for OJ. He's ran really hard at times he's carried the football. He's had a night to be proud of. Yeah, and defensively he's been he's been pretty active in yeah, tackles. True. So you're, you're right. I, you can't. You, Got to be proud of that young man, and he's given everything he's got. Ball now at the 12-yard line as the clock continues to tick. Second and three. Ellerbrock in motion once again. Kuhlman hands off to Rump, off tackle to the right side. He's got the Dales concrete first down. A couple more yards. First down. Clock stops. The chains. With just over two minutes to go here in this fourth quarter. The Van Wert faithful start to feel somewhat cemented in how this is going to turn out. A couple of them are heading to the vehicles. Now, I don't know if they watched the Browns last week. Yeah. <laughs> right. Doesn't hurt to stick around. It's never over until it gets 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. Crazier things have happened. I would imagine the Van Wert faithful would tell you about this football season. <laughs> Correct. Coleman is in the pocket, fires, gets it out to, that's number 14, Vinny Brinkman. Vinny Brinkman. First time we've called his name tonight, but he's got the Dales Concrete first down on a pitch and catch. So, so under 90 seconds to go now. Titans have the ball to 29 yard line. And Van Wert kind of just, not necessarily pre that defense, but they're making sure everything yeah. stays in front of them, that they're going to yeah. tackle an open space. Right, and just get them down to the ground. And Cool minute. We'll hand off to Rump. They'll have to change direction. Still running hard. <laughs> still still churning those legs. The 33-yard line as we're under a minute to play now. So it certainly appears as if the Van Wert Cougars will move to 5-1 and one on the season. Audubon Landorf drops to 1-5, and five, but a uh, valiant effort tonight here Absolutely, by the Titans. Yeah. And, you know, I think the inexperience and the pace of the game kind of wore out the Titans, but nonetheless, it was a heck of an effort by both of them. So the Titans will have to snap it at least one more time. Second and seven here for the Blue and Gold. As Coleman lines up, rump behind him. He'll get the handoff. Senior running back gets back to the line of scrimmage and really no further. Yeah, still uh, running hard. And that'll do it. Yeah. Ottawa Glandorf gave Van Wert a scare, hung around for a lot longer than I'm sure the Cougars wanted. Three plus quarters anyhow. But the Van Wert Cougars are victorious tonight. 31-16 over the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. Van Wert moves to five and one. Ottawa Glandorf drops to one and five. Final thoughts on tonight's ball game, Scott? I, I, I've been impressed by what, how both teams played, the speed of the game. Eventually it caught up to the Titans. Uh, not necessarily the athletic speed, it's just how the pace that how Van Wert played. Yeah. Titans were late lining up a couple times, and I think it also wore down those linemen. Those linemen were unable to get penetration and make tackles on some of those runs and allowed uh, the uh, Cougars to get a couple scores there late in this game. So a, a nice second half put together by the Van Wert Cougars. A couple of touchdown passes by Aiden Pratt gives them a 31-16 victory over the Ottawa Glandorf Titans. That'll do it from, here, from us here in Ottawa Glandorf for our fantastic WOSN crew and Scott Mag. I'm Garrett Seawright saying so long. The final score, the final time. Van Wert victorious tonight, 31-16 over Ottawa Glandorf here on WOSN. <laughs>